Okay, so five hours is your benchmark, is it? science to those that are knowledgeless and then I'll be on my way. Oh, it's, it's one of the clean out the scabs at the base mission. It's just like, yeah, death by missiles and then go in and loot the place. But, uh, I'll... Exactly, yeah. But I'll, I'll leave the looting and uh, yeah, be on my way to see you shortly. I think we're live. Hold on. We might be going live. This is possibly live. Can you hear me? Why did the camera move again? That's weird. I'm getting all these weird camera things. Um, hi, hello. Uh, <laughs> there's me just like breaking my neck on the on the station patio here. It's nice that the stations have reopened these patios from quarantine. But hello, welcome, welcome to Elite Dangus Live. Uh, we are here on the stream, and we got Commander Phil Barnes, we got Dark Heavy 8 here in, in the chat. What's up, guys? How you doing? Yes, good evening. Hello, hello. Good evening, or, or good afternoon, or good morning, depending on what part of space that you're in, really. That's how it works. Uh, it's 8, 8, 8 p.m. here in Sweden. 8 p.m. Yeah, it's what, what is it here in Space Canada? 2.05 2 p.m. So we, we are separated only by our temporal uh, misalignment. Um, and we got Loot in the chat. How you doing, Loot? And Commander Budman180. 07 and 011. <laughs> well, 711. I love 711. Except uh, I don't eat any of the 711 food anymore because it scares me. I don't know if there's 711 all over the world, but if you know what 711 food is like, you, you know what's you know why I avoid it. <laughs> Tokitos. Hello, sir. Are you having a little rest there? So, we, we are live in Elite Dangus. Um, what is it? Update 5? Odyssey version 5? What are they calling this? Like, is this Beyond Horizon, the Commanders, the Return? They don't. They stopped naming the updates with cool names. They just uh, call them, like, Update 5. Patch 5, I guess they'd say. But um, I have found that this patch has been overall pretty good. It seems that the game is running a lot smoother. I'm getting here... 50 to 60 frames per second in a station though at times it still drops to like 18 um and we might see some weirdness but overall i think it's been pretty good how do you guys feel about um patch 5 what has patch 5 done for you uh it's, i mean the graphics seems crisper somehow i don't know uh, sh sharper edges um mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, I kind of like how it looks. Uh, frame rates are the same for me, uh, which is pretty good. But uh, that, that's the difference I've seen uh, in terms of graphics. That is. Yeah, I think um, overall it does seem crisper. What about you, Dark Heavy? It's been your patch five. Uh, mixed bag at the moment. Um, I tried doing that uh, down-to-earth astronomy thing, which was reduce your thingy by 0.65 and then expand your monitor. 
and it's like playing the original 1984 game, but in color. <laughs> but in color. Well, I mean, that's 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 an improvement over 1984 graphics, I'm sure. <laughs> well, yeah, for sure. Joe. I think, yeah, it's been, uh, like, for me, I think it's been mostly positive. Uh, thank you for that invite there, Phil. Let's get Dark Heavy in the group, too. Oh, you're in solo play, Dark Heavy. We're here in open, by the way, streaming in open. So if anyone's out there looking to snipe a stream, now is your time. Come at me. Come on, come on, ye, ye streamers, you open snipers. And uh, we got Ray Mobula here as well. Have you tried the new super sampling thing? So, Ray, no, I have it not. Dark Heavy has um, tried it, but I guess, Dark, you're saying that it's not really working out for you? Yeah, but I am playing on a, uh, a PC that's kind of three, four years old, so I'm making the best of what I got. Yeah, for me, I, I haven't done the super sampling thing because I'm getting pretty decent performance um, without it. Now, again, uh, I've got kind of a super computer here. It's not like, you know, top, top of the line, but it's pretty damn close. And um, uh, so far, I haven't really had a need to do it. Um, but it's some sort of weird thing where I guess you're like, down sampling and then up sampling and it's just like wouldn't that make it slower like isn't it doing more i don't know how computers work um and i think it is weird that you know you'd have to go through all those steps but hey cool uh, if it's an option there and it's helping some people uh, experience better gameplay then i'm all for it it's all good um <laughs> oh yeah loot's coming in to snipe uh oh what wall uh, and then it has AMD fidelity stuff makes ED more playable. Yeah, I mean, I definitely feel um, it's a smoother, crisper experience. And there's been lots of little things. Uh, the cool thing that we're going to be checking out today is the ability to share your ground missions, which has been, I think, something that should have probably been in there since the beginning, but it's there now, and that's awesome. Uh, and it means that we get to share in the enjoyment of doing uh, feet work as a crew. Um, so today, uh, you know, Phil and Dark Heavy will be joining me as we spread science and joy to the galaxy. <laughs> you know, you all know what that means. It means boom boom time. Um, but yeah, uh, and then Ray, you're saying you got plus 15% FPS is in bases. Um, well, yeah, I guess over 15 would be good. Uh, <laughs> I would hope you get a little bit more than that. I definitely, I found that like when I'm jetpacking over a base, um, ooh, I can almost come on the table here. Can I get on the table? <laughs> Almost. Um, but I find when I'm like jetpacking over a base, is this really necessary? Who said that? Anthony Oldham. Is that this guy? Um, when I'm jetpacking over a base and I can see quite a lot of it, my frame rates will tank. Or when I'm near a taxi, it'll tank. Like really odd instances where uh, the gameplay will, will kind of go nuts, right? But overall, um, it's definitely, I've seen improvements in most, like 90% of the, the places that I've been going, the people I've been seeing and all that sort of stuff. So that's been really cool. It does feel sharper and crisper. And then there's little little tweaks, like um, seeing your shield percentage is a pretty neat little, um, I guess you wouldn't call it an Easter egg, but kind of a, a nice little bonus that was thrown in there. But um, yeah, other than that, I kind of read through the patch notes. A lot of it is like lighting and, and back end stuff. It's stuff that you won't go out of your way to notice. But um, as I'm playing, I definitely feel it's a better experience overall. So happy with patch five, though. I've been generally disappointed with like the, the, the roadmap that they're choosing to share, but all will come out in the wash eventually. I, I am confident by the time we get to, you know, console territory that uh, things will be working nicely, and hopefully, hopefully between now and then, we'll see some new features or see some gradual improvements. But who knows? So here we are, by the way, in the Camerica system. Camerica, fudge, yes. <laughs> I don't know. This is a fun little system that I just found. I was near in nearby in a system called Bing on Gina or Bingo and Gina, depending on how you want to space those out. Um, and, uh, you know, what I've been really doing is I, I got back from the uh, sort of community goal out there with Salvation, which, by the way, if you did participate in that CG, Salvation has left another little spam in your mailbox. Let's just see, where is it here? Um, yes, another message from Salvation. Um, I'll just read it out. Commander, this is Salvation. You have performed excellent work by delivering Guardian Artifacts to my associates at Taurus Mining Ventures, and I hope you are satisfied with the payment. I urge you not to trust Aegis. 
That organization is a hollow sham built by those in power to distract the masses. They will never have the capabilities to deal with the xenological threat that I have. I mean, okay, calm down, Salvation. Calm down. I don't know what capabilities this guy have. Uh, to that end, you must remain alert for the next phase of my project. I will need pilots of your caliber. I don't know. He, he probably sent that message out to everyone because he did not send that to me specifically. Uh, since I am... Since the work I am undertaking is of huge importance, uh, our governments have failed to protect us, our corporations have become corrupt, our weapons are insufficient, our defenses are unreliable. I will change everything with your help. I am Salvation. So who is this Salvation guy? Who do you guys think? What's your theories? To tell the truth, I think you sound more like him than he does like you. You think something. I'm Salvation? <laughs> It's possible. Maybe Could I'm working with, colluding with Frontier behind the scenes. That would be a fun little twist, eh? Or, or if it turns out it's like Obsidian Ant. He's like, only I have the size of the community to fix this defense situation. Um, what about you, Phil? What's your theory on Salvation? Well, I have this one theory about him and that he is, well, descendant is the wrong word, but... Um, you know, maybe he's uh, used to be a, a member of, of former Sapien. No, uh, Asimuth, uh, the okay. first company, and that he's kind of wanting to find revenge on on the former Sapien for screwing over his company way back so the to only, expose them. But then my only thing would be that, um, like, the whole Asimuth segment was like 200 years ago. So maybe like a descendant of one of the members of of, uh, of that corporation perhaps yes unless he's like, similar to that yeah but i don't know have they ever is there anything in the lore that talks about oh by the way this guy's got a nice suit i want that suit how do i get that suit i notice npcs sometimes have really awesome clothing and i'm like is this gonna be um portable by arcs at some point or another um sorry i got distracted by shiny clothing um but yeah so so I think that's a good theory, actually, that maybe it's someone that's connected to the Azimuth. There's nothing in the lore that says how long the average lifespan of a commander is. I mean, we're in the future. People could very well be living 250 years. Bill Turner himself claims to be a the direct descendant, or uh, that Mick Turner was his father, but the whole Mick Turner saga um, was really also, you know, again, about 200 years ago, um, which would, you know, even if uh, Mick sort of had Bill Turner as a child and then immediately left to disappear, that would place Bill over 100 years old. And he certainly doesn't look his age or, or sounded. If, you, if you've gone to his facility and heard Bill Turner's actual in-game voice, uh, he doesn't sound too... Uh, uh, doesn't sound too old. <clears throat> but yeah, maybe it's possible that someone someone involved with or a descendant of the Azimuth uh, chemicals. My theory, I, I've got kind of two or three different branches. Um, one is that you keep seeing this wall glass detective agency popping up in the news. And these guys have been associated with investigating Jasmina Halsey's disappearance, um, assassination attempts, and they've been all over the Azimuth saga as well. Um, and so, you know, why would you have a recurring character popping up in Galnet unless they're going to have some significance? The, um, not the Hesperus, but the other one, what the heck was it called? The Atom Master popped up in the Chukchan system which is the home of where the retired founder of Wall Glass Investigation lives. I can't remember his name. It's like Bill or Bob or something like that. Um, so my sort of primary theory is that I think Wall Glass Detective Agency might be connected to Salvation, if not the old founder retired uh, and started his you know Salvation activity later. That's theory one. Uh, theory two is maybe an engineer, maybe one of the engineers, like a Laurie Jameson, um, trying to expose Aegis and their connections to Inra or something like that uh, could be a potential thread. Um, and then the third one was maybe something to do with Sirius or, you know, a, a large galactic corporation because uh, those guys have been um, involved in quite a lot of the, the deep lore. So those are kind of my three branches of theories. But I think, you know, Salvation can't just turn out to be some guy. You know, I think he's going to turn out to be someone. It's just who... Who are we working for? That is the question. But anyway, um, so coming back from all that um, uh, community goal shenanigans, I managed to uh, shut myself into the top 50% and get that new sweet guardian module. Um, and coming back, uh, I've just been kind of lingering around the um, outskirts of the bubble, visiting outposts. And you will find that, you know, if you are near the outposts uh, and near the... Uh, externals of the bubble and especially after a uh, thursday update 
Uh, sometimes you'll go to these stores and you will find uh, pre-upgraded weapons. So at this station here, there's a Karma AR-50 that's already level 2 and no mods on it. I managed to find myself something pretty sweet um, at a nearby station, which was, uh, well, a level 3 oppressor, but I don't really like this gun. Uh, but I found a Karma AR-50 with audio masking built in, um, which is awesome for uh, ninja builds. A giant, uh, a giant, like what, 50 caliber machine gun with a silencer? Does that does that make sense? <laughs> anyway, uh, 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 a little addendum on the salvation stuff. Yes. I actually did not get that message. I didn't participate in the CG, so I got no message from him, which is uh, sad. But I can't uh, expect them to, you know, lock out some players from this because they didn't do one event. Yeah, it seems that Salvation is messaging you if you participate in the last event in the chain. I rushed out there to do that CG, um, even though it was kind of a pain in the butt, you know, navigating the whole CO70 sector. I thought I was really stuck uh, getting back from there. But um, I wanted to make sure that I was getting these messages. Now, the message that he sent was kind of like, hey, thanks for helping, I'll be in touch. I assume that they're not going to, like, there's no way you can participate in that CG. I assume if you've done at least a portion of it, the Adam Master of the Hasperus, you're probably on his mailing list, so to speak. Um, I doubt that Frontier would say, oh yeah, sorry, you missed out the CG, you're not going to be involved in the rest of the storyline. Uh, it looked like about 2,200 commanders participated in that CG. Um, so if they were to kind of restrict it from here to just those people, that would feel kind of exclusive. So I don't, I don't feel they're going to exclude you from the future ones, but um, I guess for participating in the CG, I get a little bit of extra spam as a reward. Uh, for my spam as a reward, yeah. Yeah. A little can of spam for the, for the you know, for the children. Uh, anyway... Uh, let me see here. Uh, so Ray, you said you went from FPS went from 25 to 37. That's that's, I, I guess acceptable. Uh, Loot, you got a 970 over there. My old 970 is sitting in my old computer there. Um, I had to upgrade because of it. Um, but yeah, getting 65. I'm getting 144 in space. So I'm happy about my frame rates. But even with all this wonderful, crazy newfangled technology I've uh, gifted to myself, you st I'm, I'm still dropping below 20 in certain scenarios. So there's still more work to be done, still more work. But overall, I'm pretty pretty happy with this update. Um, and then Ray, you're on a, a 1060 GTX and you can play now in 1440 by 1050. That is lovely. Um, and Loot, you're on a 1080p, or you're on 1080p resolution. Um, sounds like the guy from the book War with the Newts. I don't know that book. I'll have to check it out. And then shadows have a huge impact. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, if you want to, I can check out my settings here just before we get into the mission fun. What am I running at? Because it's to me, this is insane. I've gone from uh, Stone Age to uh, Space Age. So I got like high setting. I should, you can't even set it. There's no ultra. It's just high. High texture, high shadow, high ultra bloom. Uh, I don't know, all this upscaling and super sampling. I'd have to like literally watch that down to earth astronomy video and do it step by step or I'd probably screw these up. But everything's running on high and ultra and all that sort of crazy shenanigans. And um, yeah, I got the RTX 3070 and it's 2560 uh, by 1440 at 144 uh, hertz. Uh, the frame rate is so bad, I'm sure many of you are, are hurting, hurting with envy, but that's okay. They will optimize, and we will all receive these wonderful frame rates at some point or another. I'm sure they will. Right, Frontier? Um, anyway, so, um, I already found one mission that's like a stealthy mission uh, that has a power regulator. We're going to take another look. What I like to do is just go here, look at all missions, um, click this filter to show materials, and kind of scroll through. And, and things like digital designs, manufacturing instructions, ooh, ooh. Ooh, I think I already... Do I already have a mission here? No, maybe not. Kill 15 pirates, 5 manufacturing instructions. I think we'll take that, because you're always going to need manufacturing instructions for every upgrade. So always grab those when you find them. And ooh, that's what we're looking for. Power regulator. And here we have an assassination. Eliminate Norma Myers. And she's in Camerica, so in the, in the current system. This is lovely. At a nutrition exchange. What is that? Like a diet, uh, diet swapping? Uh, let's see here. And yeah, I just like to scroll through these things. Yeah, menu instructions. One manufacturing instruction just to grab a personal document. I think we'll skip that one. 
Uh, it, we're looking really for power regulators here. Uh, and this, this station is lovely. It has lots of missions. Ooh, covert shutdown. Switch off the power at a cultivation market. I haven't done one of these before, and I imagine it's going to get... Be, there's going to be a lot of science here, so we'll take that one. Anything that has a power regulator. We might be able to get all those power regulators for an upgrade in one go, actually. And then we'll go with one more. Um, but this time, I'm just going to limit it to combat. And... Um, there's another way you can get power regulators, is just by killing people. Um, it's that simple, ladies and gentlemen. Just go to a base, kill everyone there, take their power regulator. That's what you do. Um, so maybe we'll try... Um, it looks like I already have a, a mission here to eliminate the same, very same faction. Uh, I think we'll go with the weapon test data. And all we gotta do is kill eight faction members. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is that sometimes the targets are like technicians. Or civilians or guards when it's faction members that means uh, we don't care just as long as they are a member of the faction kill them so we'll find a base where we can kill these people and uh, and then steal their power regulator at the end of it all right so how do we do this um, you guys are in I got Phil and I got G vine in the crew here so if I go to transactions and by the way I really need to do something about these fines and bounties I'm getting up there I find that now it's like 50-50. Yeah, so you can see there's some... Oh, the Black Hand Syndicate has a bounty on me in this system. So, we might get interdicted by people. So, you can share one of your team missions with your teammates here. So, I guess I can only share one mission at a time. Is that how that works? Have you guys had experience with this yet? Uh, no, not on foot. Okay, well, let's not, start... Not the new system. Well, let's start with... Uh, well, let's, let's see how it works. So... We'll start with this eight-member criminal faction mission, and I'm going to click share, and then you tell me if you got it, because apparently it's grayed out the button now, so that should be fine. Oh, there we go. Yes, I accept. And unfortunately, it looks like I can only share one mission at a time. Oops. I uh, wonder if it was like maybe one mission at a time. Yeah, so I guess, you know, you, you, you can only share one mission at a time. So we'll go through and, and, I guess, complete these one by one. What I've been liking to do is kind of like, I'll start a play session, I'll take a bunch of missions all at once, just kind of, you know, rack up uh, five or six or seven, and then just go out and do them um, one after the other and come back. And it makes for a nice little, um, I guess, like, you know, like, here's what I'm going to do today. It's my shopping list. My murder shopping list. All right, I'm going to head down to Dock. Are you guys um, at the station now? Are you in the Camerica system? Camerica! Uh, I am, yes. I have actually spent this entire time you have been talking, trying to instance with you in the concourse with no success. But I am here, I promise. <laughs> okay, well, um, either... Uh, I don't know if you... Yeah, you can come sit in my diamond bag if you want to trust multi-crew. I heard there I were cannot, improvements. I cannot, one seater. What? Oh, diamond really? bag is only one seat, yeah. Is it? Oh... I feel like there should be another seat in there. No, I guess not. It's um, it's a, it's a lonely ship. It's a lonely explorer. But I have I a ship of my own, so it's fine. I could always just get a, get a nice keel back. Um, okay, so we've got missions in the Chimerica system, in the Lodere system, the Rigo Sage system, but we want to head to Gix Tesente. Am I pronouncing that correctly? Gix Gitixente. Gitix. Who names these systems? Were the are these procedurally named? <laughs> like, did someone actually like go? I know a good name for this system. Nebfet. No. No, I, I think there. I think a lot of them are <coughs> are handmade. So a lot of them are just like some astronomer named them after some Egyptian dude or something, right? Yeah, a lot of mythology. It does feel sometimes like in order to truly appreciate this game, you need to be like pretty up-to-date with your Greek mythology. <laughs> and I do kind of like that. Um, I've many times uh, doing, you know, some sort of mystery uh, seeking. I think I see your wing signal, but not your ship, uh, Phil. That weird... Yeah, weird that's the instance. Ooh, I found a watching. See you in space. How come I get reckless flying? cause damage. This guy's wanted. I kind of want to just, like, kill him. He's also serious special forces. Hold on. Come here. 
Come here, little buddy. Oh, no, you know what? I'm gonna let him go. It's fine. I'm also wanted. I, I understand. But look at this. You can see percentages on the enemies. I can see he's at 0% shields, and I can see I'm at 100%. And I think that's a cool little addition. Very, very cool. Um, Alright, where are we going again? We're going to... Gixisante. Gixisante. Alright, charge in my FSD. Hopefully the instancing will be better in this system. That's something um, I was hearing about um, the other universe, that um, citizen of star people, uh, is that they're, they're working on something called like server meshing by the end of the year. So they probably have very similar issues. I haven't played a lot of it to know. I'm not an expert in this, but probably very similar issues to Elite. But they've got something coming that might be solving it. And um, from what people were telling me about Elite is kind of the way that the Elite system kind of tends to work is that um, it, it really depends on the connection between the commanders as opposed to, like there's no servers, like it's like peer-to-peer -peer connections. So if you are like closer to someone, you may have a better um, uh, connection, like physically closer, you may have a better connection in that sense, right? So someone was telling me it's kind of like, if the internet uh, just gets better, Elite will get better. So we're just waiting for the internet to get better and that'll fix the game. Uh, okay, anyway, we are looking for the Gixisante Silver Pirates. Now, for these missions, there is no one place that you can go. The way to find them is you go to points of interest here, you go down to the blue one, and then you want to look for uh, which faction owns it. And this one, Aliosio Hold, uh, on this moon, is uh, owned by that faction. And so all you got to do is just find, you know, a place that's owned by that faction, head on down there, and basically murder everyone. Fun times. So we'll head down there. It's only 800 light seconds away. That's not too bad. I see your little wing signals uh, dancing around. Hopefully, uh, hopefully when we get down to the planet, we'll be instance in the same area. And Ray's asking, Dude, yeah. was that Rammstein America? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> uh, oh, I see a G-Bind is here as well in the system. Yeah, we, the, the whole gang is here, except for Dark Heavy. I think it's still still in solo. Are you? Um, you're just you're still finishing I, up missions, eh? I have instance with her, but but not not with you. Oh, Jiban's in a clipper. Yeah, nice. I just jumped in. I just jumped into Camerica. If you can send me a wing bite, I'll join up. Camerica. Let me get you in here. Uh, invite it is team. the 4th of July weekend. That is true. So happy happy America Day for all those celebrating. It's your it's your Independence Day. Shoot some fireworks with your guns. You have Canada's permission. <laughs> we did have, of course, our Canada Day on the 1st, which was odd on a Thursday. So we had the sort of Thursday off work and then everyone comes back on Friday for some reason. Mostly being useless. But, um, yeah, we do ours on the 1st, and America does it on the 4th. But happy America Day! Uh, is movie? it possible for you to reshare the mission for these two? Oh, of course, yes, I guess I would need to. So let's see, if I go here, and then I... Oh, and you can do it, right, lovely, you can do it from the ship. I was wondering, do I have to be on foot? So yeah, you can see here that, like, Phil is accepted, because there's a little hexagon, and I've got a plus, and, uh, G-Vine is a triangle, and, um... And Dark Heavy 8 is not on there. And I've just received a message. Right. It is, like, again, I think part of the issues I'm having with the UI right now is just it does rely a little bit too heavily on iconography. Like, I don't know what a plus or a hexagon means. And maybe over time you get to get used to that stuff, but... Uh, wouldn't. Oh, uh, you know, uh, I can tell you. You know? What is it? Uh, they are just random symbols that you get assigned to in a wing, so you can, you know, uh, <laughs> recognize someone by, by symbol instead of by name. So it's yeah, it's just a random assignment of, of symbols so in a wing. Of, so kind of, if I don't know your name, I just call you Mr. Hexagon. Hey, uh, we need you, Triangle. Uh, triangle to your left. <laughs> yeah, I think you know. I think it's also used like when using the in-game voice chat. You'll see maybe like the icon. Oh, okay. oh, the symbol light up instead of the name because the name can be really long. See, I'm just not I'm just not used to these things. These things are different. But another cool thing I really like is how they changed the um, 
kind of look of uh, when you're on the loadouts here. Uh, let me just show you a different one. It's a little more zoomed in, and you can see actually the suit cosmetics, which I really like. I think that's cool. Again, just little tiny tweaks, little tiny tweaks. You hate dark places. I know this is on the night side of the of the uh, of the planet, unfortunately. Uh, and I don't have night vision in any of my suits yet. But, on the other hand, it does make people very easy to find because the enemy will have their flashlights out, and I find night visions, uh, it's a lot easier to track people down. There we go, Dark Heavy 8's now loading in on that mission. Alright, Aliosio Hold. This sounds like an Italian place. Is this where they manufacture the pasta noodles? I would like to order one lasagna. Now, one thing I always like to do is when you get down here, they're not um, initially hostile to you because you haven't killed anyone. And you can just request docking and just like, yeah, can I have permission to dock? Murder everyone. And then, <laughs> you know, like, like just undock. But I think in this case, I'll... Ooh, hold on. This this is interesting. Oh, yeah, this is kind of a walled uh, facility. So this facility... Uh, like, what do the walls do? What do they keep out exactly on this planet? <laughs> like, what's the point of building walls all around your space base when I could just rain fire and death and... Ooh, Goliath Skimmer. Those guys are massive. Um, but yeah, I don't know. What are the walls for? You seem like it would just yeah. be kind of a pain in the ass when you want to expand the base, because it's like, yeah, we gotta take down the walls. Uh, however, this base does look quite well guarded. And, ooh, 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 ooh. Let's just park it right here. I love it how it's like, oh, wait, restricted area. Hold on. I don't want them to be mad at me yet. Leaving restricted area. There we go. And you can see that little thing, my percentage of the shields counting up. And I think what I like about this uh, percentage thing is you can actually kind of see how fast your shields regenerate. Um, so if you put modifications on your shields, or if you have like the, the there's like the one that regens faster, the, the bi-weave, you can see the real effect of it. So anyway, I'm just going to park and disembark. And, ooh, hold on. What ha what do I have on my Dominator suit? I just... So I guess, oh, I have a rocket launcher. I probably should change that loadout because I don't want to kill everyone. Um, and you can see, yeah, I'm getting like 20 frames per second, but only in the transitions, only for little brief periods of time. So actually, I think this is a good time to try out some sneaky ninja um, suits. So I've got on this, um, basically my AR fit, oh, you know what? This is gonna turn into a fire, no, I think we're gonna go dominator because we need the shields. Um, however, I'm going to change my primary weapon from the rocket launcher to, uh, I have the executioner, so I probably want the shotgun, which is called the intimidator. Shotgun sniper and uh, plasma pistol. Honestly, it's a great loadout. The plasma weapons in this game are phenomenal. Except for the Oppressor, which sucks. I don't know, some people like it. Have you guys played with the Oppressor? That's like the machine gun plasma rifle one? I uh, tried it out just the G1 version, but it was pretty weak, so I left it. I find I just, I'm more opt to miss than, than uh, hit with that one. Okay, so I feel like, okay, if we just start massacring people here, um, this place has settlement defenses. It has a Goliath. So what I'm thinking, um, and I don't know, you guys let me know if this is a valid strategy, is it might be prudent to try and sneak in, uh, get some access, disable maybe the alarms, uh, and the ground defenses, and then uh, then we'll be more well-equipped to start murdering people. What do you guys think? Yes, yes please disable the, the air defenses, because I'll be doing air cover, and I can't do that if I'm getting shot to pieces. Excellent. Well, this is, this is what team missions are all about, so I guess, like, now it's a case, okay, so we know Dark Heavy's going to be our air support. He's going to be up there, our eye in the sky. He can give us uh, real-time updates on where this Goliath is at, because I'm really quite scared of this thing. Well, let's see if we can get a closer look. Come here, Goliath. Don't be shy. I'm just going to land on you. See, look, he's got, like, missiles. Oh, 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 he's slippery. He's slippery. I am on the Goliath. Look, this is a good little vantage point. Hey, Goliath, can you take me over this way? Just, let's go for a ride. Oh god, he's damaging me. I don't think he likes me on his back here. I do not want to anger this giant murder machine. Like, 
Two multi cannons, two missile launchers, and just one big hunk of, sh hunk of shields. What happens? What is this thing? Is this like a portal to Raxla? <laughs> okay, at least that didn't kill me. See, see, I don't like these little uh, ground turrets because they scare me. And who's that up there? That's Phil. All right, so um, the first thing we're gonna need to do is start cloning some profiles. We're gonna need to get access probably to the command building. Uh, that's usually where all these uh, lovely things are. Um, now, um, one approach to this is you can try sort of like, I could scan this guy, get level one, get access to a building and start going. But oftentimes you can just shortcut right to level three by finding the right window. And maybe uh, like inside this command center, there'll be someone with level three. The trick is, um, is there a place where someone's path is going to be by a window? And is there a place where I can sit there and not be noticed? So this looks like a little hallway here. Yeah, I think all the goodies are going to be in this building. That's where we want to be. Oh, I don't want to be scanned. I don't want to be scanned. I mean, technically speaking, I haven't done anything bad yet. If they scan me, nothing bad will happen. But I just don't like it as a matter of principle. I feel like my privacy is being violated. Which, uh, what do you guys think? That, that is currently, I think, a, a thread right now. They're having a community goal because um, I guess a, a portion of the Federation is not happy with some of the new security profiles. Okay, we got a level three here and he's probably gonna come up these stairs. I'm gonna turn off my flashlight. I'm gonna hide. Maybe. I can get his profile, come on. Security profile Done! Clone. Got him. And he didn't even hear me. So now I have level three access. <laughs> it's that simple, ladies and gentlemen. Now, of course, at this point, if a guard scans me, oh God, I thought that was a guard and I thought he was jumping. And I'm like, <laughs> they've learned to get on the roofs. Because uh, right now I do feel like in Odyssey, when you're raiding a base, the roofs are very safe. The guards don't often come on the roofs. They do occasionally, but um, you know, I could you know, jump up here and know that no one's gonna be finding me or scanning me. I could leave and oh my god there's g5 and the scarab just 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 rolling around the base the the bases are not really designed with very good um pathways and oh god are you about to land on that security gentleman well he was not happy about that he was not he scared the living bejesus out of christian ramirez there poor christian he's just walking his patrol routes this is this is his last day on the beat before retirement you know hope nothing bad happens to him um but yeah, another thing that's good about having teams is you guys could like run distraction missions. Like only one of us needs to have access to the doors and I could then hold them open for people. Another cool tactic I've seen, um, I can't remember what video, I saw this like Elite Week was spotlighting some stuff and you can get the guards to come and sort of try to scan you and then stand close to the doors and if the guards have access, they will open the doors for you and uh, after they're finished with the scan, you can just walk right in. They don't care, which is pretty fun. Uh, so here we are in the security facility. Now at this point, I do need to be careful because if there is a guard in here and they do scan me, I have a level three access profile. They will know I'm not supposed to be here. But thankfully workers and technicians do not seem to care. And what we're looking for are little panels. Um, I think probably it would be prudent to disable the alarms first. Uh, now, of course, ooh, we could disable the building atmosphere, and that would kind of force everyone in the building to run out. Because um, even some of these areas, like, yeah, I could get in here, but this is a restricted area. If they catch me in here, it's going to be not good. So it might be worth just, like, doing a little tour, finding out where everything is in here. Ooh, what we got here? Evan Green. Level 3 access. If anyone wants their own profile, this guy's... Probably good to clone. <coughs> I might as well get a little recharge here. So usually what I'm finding is the um, the alarm panels are either in the control room or in the security room sometimes. Okay, so this is a restricted area. We can get in here. And I feel like this is where we want to be. Yeah, I see, see all those panels out there? Uh, G-Vine. Uh, don't let them catch you. Just make sure he doesn't see you. You can go in here, but just like, as soon as they see you, they're gonna, like, there's gonna be hell to pay. Um, yeah, we wanna get over there where that guy is. But we don't wanna be seen. Uh oh, we got seen. Uh, hold on. 
If we just, just leave, leave the restrictions. Leave the area, yeah. yeah. What? Uh, Jivan. Jivan, come, come here, come here. She's not gonna like you in a second. Okay, hold on. I think I've got. I think what I know what we must do. The guard stopped. Yeah, they're kind of just like frozen in place, eh? Well, let's see what happens. Uh oh. Why, why isn't this door opening again? Who's that? Oh god! There's also a guy here. Um. Well, not for long. Door, door's open now. We'll take care of this problem. <laughs> and these, of course, are mission targets, so, um. They, they uh, uh. I don't feel bad about killing them, because they probably had something coming. $14,000 bounty on that one. Okay. What about this guy out here? What do you got on you? Scan detected. Bounty detected. Oh, they're both bounties. Lovely. Okay, and now we have our free reign in this lovely control room. Uh, provided that there's not like another AI that will come in here and catch us in the act. But really what we want to do is we want to disable the alarms. And it does, ooh, hold on, data pad. Weapon inventory, 10 seconds. I'll Download take it. Data. data is one of the big still pain points for me in like... There's so many of these uh, data things that you need, and they're so random. I was hoping to find a smear campaign there, but I believe... Okay, so, okay, let me, let me ask you this question. If we were to disable turrets right now, um, would that set off the alarm? I don't think so. I'm not sure. I guess there's only one way to find out. It, it should People be fine. looking quiet outside. Hmm. It seems the only one I can't hit is the anti-ship turrets. Uh, yeah. Point defense is down, and anti-personnel turrets are down, but I don't think this anti-ship turret... Will... Oh, wait, there we go. It just was very sensitive. It was like one of those ads where the little X, you have to click in the side on your mobile. And no matter how many times you try to click it, it just um, it just uh, opens up the ad. What's wrong with this place? There's like a weird cable in there. And all this lovely material. I'm not going to worry too much about materials right now. No, I, I, I honestly just can't help, but um, when I see these lockers, I just have the urge to loot. It's just, it's, it's baked in. I'll take that. Yeah, 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 I gotta take that. I, just I get the same feeling once the anti-aircraft defences are taken down, I get uh -oh. the urge to science the thing that's on the ground. Hold on, who's under attack? I heard the uh, that, that, that was me, we, we killed a guy. But the, the alarms are off now. The alarms are off? Oh, you found the alarms? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Was it in the other area over here? Yes. <laughs> Sorry, where? <laughs> Uh, this I'll open, yeah, here, in here, yeah. Oh, oh that's not oh, you. I found authorization scans. See, yeah, now I'm running about 30 FPS. Oh, there you are. There you guys are. Oh, it was down here. So, yeah, th these security areas. Hold on, let me just see if this guy's a bounty. No bounty well. Aw, he was innocent. Poor dude. So, yeah, here's, here's the other place where you often find the settlement alarms. And honestly, when it's here, it's a big pain in the butt, because this area, I find, um, usually has someone in it, and they're usually restricted, and, you know, you can't really get there without offing the guy. And so if you are trying to do these missions non-violently, um, tough luck, right? And what's up with this? Like, some, there, a lot of times you find these, like, transmitters and stuff just on the floor, and it's like, you have all this shelf space right here. There are empty slots. Why don't you just pick it up and put it on the shelf? All this personal database, personal documents. All right, so now that the alarms are off, and let's see here, um, how is the mission going? Because we have been murdering people and they are targets. Six out of eight kills, so we need to kill two more. Then when we've killed those two more, I will share, if I can, the next mission um, for 15 members. I was like, I hear shooties. Um, I think it's DH. But yeah, I think, oh, okay, is, are, are you out there? <laughs> Making some science happen? Oh. These people died and crumpled onto each other. Yeah, 23 frames a second. It's... Well, hello. Um, everything is exploding down here. Oh, hi. Hi, hello. Hello. Hello, Christian Ramirez. 
He's red, but he's not attacking me. You haven't won yet. Oh, it should turn on my shields, probably. Oh, sorry. And that is the mission. Now let's see if I am able to now uh, share this other one with you. No, so I guess we have to go back and cash this mission. Oh, interesting. So we've killed eight people. Those eight people have actually counted towards the other mission that's unshared. Mm, interesting. So I guess we just got to go cash this one in. And Oh, hold on, hold on. Who's shooting at me? Big mistake. Big mistake. Don't shoot the guy with a shotgun at point blank range, you fools. I mean, let me put it this way. These kills are not for missions at this point. It's just for, uh, I'm annoyed. Get over here. I'm punching you to death. <laughs> Priya Gallagher. Punched to death. You can't have board occupied. I do love that you can just, uh, board your friend's, um, SRVs. Oh, wait, sorry, that was you! I uh, apologize. I apologize. I'm alive, it's, it's okay. I thought that someone was shooting at you, and then I was like, it's a little odd, odd that there's a bad guy in the roof. Uh, and Dirk Heavy, did, is that Goliath still around? What say you, Air Reconnaissance? Who died? DH died. Oh no, what happened? I found out where the Dangus was. <laughs> <laughs> it was in us all. And what do we got here? Just little grade one materials. Whatever, we'll take some of it. I feel like there's someone around this corner. No, it's just my shadow. Um, okay, well, um, the next step, uh, since we're here, we might as well take their sweet, sweet power. There's still a sharpshooter over there. Of course, I'm going to kill these lovely technicians. Just make sure that I'm all alone here. And then as soon as we start this thing, it's going to take a while. Um, I do not have a, uh, what do you call it, a Maverick suit. So the only thing I can uh, I is... Do. Oh, you do? Okay, wonderful. Because I was going to say, I'm like, I can't uh, cut open panels to get out. But as long as you are fully charged, um, once the power goes out, either A, if you actually stand here and leave the doors open... Oh. Okay, I was going to say, I'm like, is that someone running to kill me, or is that Phil? It's Phil. I do wish there was a little bit better indicators of who's your team. Like, if you could see just something above their heads. And by the way, what is that hulking wreckage here? Is that Dark Heavy 8's... Uh, Chieftain, or what remains of it? Yes, probably the remains of my rotting corpse. Yeah. What? What wreckage? <laughs> Chief, I just shot someone in a door, and they are wriggling in a wonderful way. This okay? Please, Frontier, never fix that. I love the ragdoll physics. Oh, I kind of ruined it. I love <laughs> the cross in his leg. Get in that door. Get in that door. Damn it. I do love the little ragdoll squigglies. Okay. Well, I'm going to head back and just chill in the power station. This is kind of... This is where it's like, okay, I love these mechanics that kind of force you to wait and, you know, the guards are coming at you, but they feel just a touch too long. Like, uh, 30 to 60 seconds, you know? Uh-oh. Who under attack? Uh, let me see here. Um... The gang of weirdness, yeah. Are you part of a gang? Well, I mean, I guess we're all part of a gang. Uh, 1,400 credit bounty, and to think, murder is only like 500. Yeah, so these must have been some bad apples. Although I do find they really sh the, like the fines are a little bit weird and, and, and not, doesn't seem to be balanced very well, where it's like, yeah, 500 credits for murder, but 100,000 credits, and, and like, you look at some of these things, and let me go here, look at my transactions where I can see my bounties. You know, I've got a 200 credit fine here, a 5,000 credit fine here. What am I getting these 100,000 credit fines for? And I think that's for, like, these base assaults. But if murder is only 500, and I've killed, like, 19 people, what constitutes a $100,000 fine? Not a bounty, a fine. Pad loitering. <laughs> yes, maybe. Scum. That may be it. <laughs> but, but anyway. So, okay, so as the power shuts down, if I were to stand here and these doors are open, they will remain open uh, when uh, the, the base depowers. Or you can uh, short circuit these charge ports by overloading. Uh, if I had the energy, hold on, let me go get the energy. I think you can just use the regular uh, mode on the um, zap thingy. 
Correct. No need to overload these. You, yeah. you, if you have if you have the level three access. So for example, if I were to clear my um, if I were to clear my profile, which is in the bottom here, clear stolen profile. Let's try that and show you just what will happen. So sweet, sweet power regulator. Mm, give me that sweet sweetness. So now the doors actually won't open. Now if I were to just power this up, you'd expect it would open. Oh, and it does. Never mind. Okay. Yeah, it does open. It's not uh, connected to authority level to do that one. God damn it. Because I was going to say, I feel like maybe I tested that earlier and it, it, it wouldn't let me out. I had to overload it. And if you're running low on power and you don't have any packs, that could be a bad thing. What are you doing there, G5? You're just bouncing around. I do love that when you shut the power out, the whole base goes dark. Like, I don't think we even killed any everyone here. I don't know, maybe you guys cleaned up everyone, but there's probably some guy cowering in one of the buildings, one of the scientists. He's just like, the power just went out. He feels like he's in Jurassic Park right now. The dinosaurs have gotten out. Well, um, that was easy. That went much smoother than when I do these things by myself. <laughs> The power of teams! Sharing is caring, even when you are massacring. Alright, well let's head back. We'll ca Oops. Um, we will cash in this mission. Uh, or maybe, I guess, on the... Yeah, I, I wish I could share more than one mission. Because I was going to say, then we could be more efficient here, but... I don't want to cash these things out with you guys uh, not getting the spoils of war. So, that's fine. We'll head back and forth between Camerica. We'll have to head back here one more time, murder some more people. And then there's maybe an assassination mission that we can do next. Alright. I'm taking off. And man, that's a big ship. Which one is that, G-Mine? That's the, uh, the, the, the big one, the cutter? It's the clipper, but I can't see her clipper. Where is, is she here? Yeah, she's right beside the crate, which is you, your ship. Uh, yeah, I can't see the clipper. No. Literally, like, parked right in front of you. You'll see it on the stream if you've got a delay or whatever, but it's like, yeah. Even though you're, you're not in the same instance, I can see you both. And I'm surprised that, yeah, like, I wonder if, like, if she tried to park on you, but you're not in instance together, would it merge the ships together? Yeah, I feel like, try to, try to fly into her ship. Oh, no. But I'm like, I wonder if, like, physically, um, you're able to connect. I, I can try to do that if you want. I'm I can like, see your wing signal, so... I would be curious to see if, like, you would fly through each other. And she's gone. System authority. Not doing Fine a great is, job, uh, system she's authority. Got <laughs> gone from my screen. <coughs> Uh, oh well. Okay, fl you can fly. Uh, actually, yeah. I'll tell you what. Uh, oh yeah, G-Vine's not shooting the system authority. <laughs> Might as well finish the job, right? I want to know this. All I've got is like a beam laser for uh, tracing purposes and missiles. It's all. Um... Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I've run into someone. <laughs> oh, now there's a bunch of red blips there. We may be in for a, a little space battle. And funny enough, I think that, weirdly enough, we weren't, um, the base wasn't angry at us. Like, we weren't hostile to the base until we started attacking this uh, Viper. And oh boy, here comes an Anaconda with his Taipan. Think we can take this guy? Oh yes. I think we should try. Why not? Uh, thermal overload, right. Pips to weapons. I will poke you with my fixed beam laser. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> the trick is with these small ships, you just get in right behind an anaconda. Ooh, 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 ooh. Keep Don't smacking. die, spatula! I keep smacking into you guys. <laughs> Don't worry, everything's okay. Bye. Right. Try some missiles. Why is my canopy cracking? Why, 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 why? No big deal. My, my lasers won't shoot. I don't know why. Um, 
the uh, power? Power? Nope, I got power. Do you have the power? How did my canopy yes, get breached? So quickly! Oh my god, okay, what's my life support situation? Seven minutes. Okay, we can do this. I'm just gonna missile away. I mean, this guy's got massive shields. Hell the shields here. What is he using though to, to de canopy me? Like, is, is that um, uh, the cannons or whatever? So this is off time. I bow for no system authority. Why is he so interested in attacking me? Is it because my missiles are aggroing him? It's probably this this beam laser. Even though it's one little solid beam, they do quite a hell of a DPS. Oh yeah, beams are awesome. Especially the fixed ones. Oh my god. It's just murder city. Oh, sorry. Die, 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 die. I want to see these new cool Odyssey explosions. Whoa! Oh, 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 that was cool. That was cool. Right, careful on the boots. All right. There, Twenty-eight percent. Head out. Pips to shields. Yeah, I think it's time to go. I think it is well time to go. Uh, okay, heading back to the Camerica system. So let me just go into system map here. Or wait, do I have it plotted? I do. Okay, wonderful. Thankfully, oh, sixteen percent. Yeah, jump, jump first. Um, jump first. I am uh, zippity doo dah. Zippity day, You're jumping, jumping, jumping. Oh, hard points displayed. Go, 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 go. Uh, releasing choppies. Do I have choppies? No, I only have. Okay, twelve percent hull. This is not. Uh, this is nothing. I'm used to zero percent. Uh, Eleven, eight percent. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Go, 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 go! No! Why? I was so close to jumping. But your mission is is completed, so it should be fine. Maybe? I, well, I think for the Massacre ones, death does not matter. Uh, those ones, you can die as many times as you want. Oh, apparently I had a black box. Um, sent to Martoni Dock. I think this is... Oh, this is in the same system. It's fine. It's still showing as having a completed mission in my scoreboard. Yeah, I think if you complete the missions um, and then leave the base, for most of the major missions, you're okay to die after. But specifically for the extermination missions, it does not um, uh, It doesn't matter how many times. You can die as many times as you want. It doesn't care. Because the idea here is you might be doing multiple trips, right? You might um, find 15 people on uh, one run and then five people on the next run. And you could die in between them, and it's fine. So that's why I like that mission, because death does not mean a failure. Death is just part of the process. <laughs> the grieving the grieving process. The whole, whole, ideally, it's the enemy that's grieving. Alright, no big deal. I will meet you guys in Camerica. I'm also curious, too, as to, like, when we cash in this mission, do we each cash it in, or if I cash it in, does everyone immediately get the rewards? We shall see. This is part of the science that we're doing here, is understanding these team missions. Which I'm very glad that they put in the game. Thank you, Frontier, for uh, doing this. Of course, it is kind of like, I'll, I'll be honest, I'm you know I'm watching a lot of these streams and, and uh, forum posts about stuff. And well, let's just say the community is pretty half and half, shall we say. Uh, it's kind of it's kind of tough to watch, right? Because I do love this game and, you know, want to see it do well. But right now, uh, you know, temperature's hot. Seeing a lot of, uh, hey, let's check out No Man's Sky and Star Citizen. And I say to them, enjoy them for a couple months, just like I did way back in the day. And then eventually you'll want to come back to Elite. Because there's something about this universe that, while those two games I love and appreciate, doesn't have. Uh, but a lot of people that I guess like, because I remember when No Man's Sky first came out, um, even playing No Man's Sky and being very initially disappointed, um, and they eventually improved and I come back and I, I, I play it occasionally, I still like it. Um, Star Citizen is definitely more playable now than ever, but you're always going to come back to Elite at some point or another, because there's, there's just, it's got that specialness. Alright, I am probably going to get interdicted on the way here. That's fine. NPC interdictions. Easy to dodge. Oh, and we got one of the one of the local cruise ships is in the top 1% of liners out there, guys. I feel privileged 
to share a system with uh, you know a cruise ship that's actually in the top one percent because rarely do you see those. I do think like I don't know what do you guys think of this? Is they should rejig the dialogue line to have a random percentage. It's like like this cruise is in the top sixty six point five percent of all crews out there. <laughs> we get one being like. We are in the top 99% of all cruise lines. I think that would add a little bit of fun flavor. Yeah, it would be fun flavor, but the question is if they want to have fun flavor in this game. That is the If question. it's the right right game for it. You know, this is the thing is like, Ooh. and I think you're right about that is you, when you, cause like obviously, you know, here I, I'm a, a, I would call myself like a, an elite humor based channel, right? Like the videos I do are like elite comedy in a sense, um, or space comedy, I guess, um, as I do occasionally do other games, but <clears throat> in elite, there's not that much, it seems, uh, humor built into the game, except for in weird places. like. When you read some of the ship uh, names or like NPC names, some of them are the funniest shit I've ever seen. Um, as varied as like prog rock or like, you know, you'll find celebrity names and stuff like that. But I do believe that some of that was like Kickstarter fan submitted, right? So I don't know if they wanted to do that or if they had to do that kind of thing. Yeah, some, if not most of the names, yeah. Right, right. Um, which again, but that like, to me, I love those ship names, the little ridiculous ship names, like you're killing a dude named, you know, Cobra Commander or something, right? And it's just like that, that adds a little uh, flair and humor. And I'm seeing a little bit of it in the engineers, but like when you look at like Galnet, um, very rarely do they try to inject humor in there. Like every once in a while, you'll see like a little tinge of it. And I kind of wish that this game had a little bit more irreverence. Um, you'll see it sometimes too in like the rare commodities, uh, rare goods descriptions, right? There's one that's like a booze that's made out of like, or like a, I think a food that's made out of like um, uh, uh, human parts or something, <laughs> or implies cannibalism. Uh, in front of your first encounters, there were also funny articles in Galnet. Yes. Um, I do remember from playing a little bit of Frontier First Encounters that, you know, you'd read the news and there'd be random stuff that was just humor, right? But like Frontier would put random stuff in and it's like, this political faction is uh, seeding from this political faction and they're upset about the grain shortages. Isn't our Im universe immersive and wonderful? And I'm like, man, if you just like did like funny shit every once in a while, um, I don't know, man, it would just add so much more to this universe. I wish there was more built-in humor. Um, though, that said, because the universe is kind of dry and serious, it does maybe make those little glimmers of humor stand out more to me. But I don't know. I'd be I'd be all for uh, more humor. Oh no, Phil's pre PC crashed. I'm blaming Odyssey. I'm blaming Odyssey for that one. Well, that's okay. We can we can wait for him to uh, get back in here. Hang out on the concourse for a bit. You're watching from the bar. Can you did you see me coming in dock? Because I love the fact that you can do that. That's like, honestly, I get spellbound just standing in the concourse looking at the window and watching people dock. I know it's not like super exciting, but it is to me. Oh, you were late for that. Well, don't worry, I didn't have a silly dock this time. I actually docked in it like a normal, responsible commander. <laughs> Which is not always the case. What was that? Uh, bad PC crash, but I'm back now. I, we're blaming Odyssey for that one. Hello, sir. Do I believe this guy has missions? No, he's just gonna stand there looking at me weird. What's up with that? He got like red gloves. Now we can try, um, you know, sharing completed missions to uh, to someone. Yes, that's also a good idea. Wait, did like your your mission is gone? We we'll see. I'm loading up now. Uh, yeah, I don't see you in here, and I don't actually see the option to share the mission. Hmm. I wonder. Now maybe, I... maybe because all the wing members already have the mission, but yeah. That's possible. Okay, we'll wait for you to get back in because I would like to test that. Because I, I guess mean the main in, menu now. In theory, you could just go and complete a bunch of missions, invite all your friends, and then just complete them in the last minute, right? Yeah, like you could do with wing missions. Interesting. Who's that out there? 
Who's, is anyone flying a keelback? I do see a keelback just kind of parked by the mail slot. I wonder if he's an NPC that's stuck and will be uh, killed for loitering. This could be a nice little popcorn show. Or maybe he's just waiting his turn. Because sometimes these guys wait forever. So you can see here, yeah, like oddly, it's been running mostly smooth, but now I'm getting about 30 frames a second. Now I'm sure if I turn around, it kind of ticks up 36. Look out the window, 28. So still some areas right. where the performance is just not not amazing. I am back in game. I'm in my hangar now. Oh, the killback's leaving. He was just waiting for that ostrich to get out. Or wait, hold on. What is he doing? I thought he was leaving. Oh, oh no, he is. I just had the perspective wrong. Damn it. That would have been fun. All right, you're back in the game. Let me see if I can share. Are you back in the wing yet? Okay, hold on. I have to probably do that first. No wing. Uh, do, 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 do. Invite you to the wing. Or, sorry, team. <laughs> what do you, I, do, I don't like that they call it team. So tell me if you uh, have the mission. I don't have the option to share it. It looks like there's like a placeholder slot, slot for you. I don't have a mission, no. So, I guess that sucks, is once the mission completes, it's not shareable. Unfortunately. As it should be. I mean, that's probably... I, I get it, that's sort of like... And by the way, I'm also anonymous talking here, so... I don't know what I did. Oh, wait, I know what I did. And hold on a second, whoa! I have two completed missions, but we only completed one. Um... Interesting. So, okay. Oh, I guess we we did kill 50... Okay, hold on. I'm going to do this. I'm going to complete the one here for eight targets. Let's take the data. Okay. Now, apparently we must have killed 15 faction members. It just didn't register until now. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to share this other mission if I can. Which isn't completed here. No, it won't let me share it. So even though it's... It, okay, so it is completed, but not complete. <sighs> I should have shared that mission. Now, are you guys, as I'm completing these, the one um, mission that just completed, do you guys also have the option to complete it, or did it just show you that that mission is completed? Well, I have nothing on my screen, so I can't say. Yes, uh, I've got the option to complete a raid, exterminate, get, say, say, your, your, mm. <laughs> hmm. All right. Well, I, I, I shared the next mission. We have to eliminate Norma Mayors, and this is a uh, nutrition exchange area that we have to go to, and she works for serious special forces. So I kind of feel like. Uh, this will be a toughie. Now, here's the next question is, when you completed the mission, did you get a choice of rewards? Like, are you going to be able to get a power regulator from this next one? Or did it just say like, hey, here's your reward? Oh wait, I just got a mission invite. Oh wait, uh, sorry, sorry, you just uh, accepted the one. Couldn't tell to be sure, because I was actually looking uh, Gvine says she could pick the weapon data material. Okay, that's good. That's nice that at least you do get to pick. Completed it at the terminal, could pick the credits or weapon tainted. Okay, so you're able to, like, complete it as if it were a normal mission. That's awesome. And on my transaction panel for this mission, I can see the material reward that I can pick when I'm done, so I guess it works. Yay! Functioning things in Elite. <laughs> And then, then functioning the way it probably should be. Cool. All right. Well, let's go kill someone. Um, we have to assassinate a member of Sirius. I'm like afraid to um, mess with Sirius, but at the same time, they had it coming. Uh, unit would have been better than team. Commander Budman says. Unit? Do you really want to say like, do you want to be part of my unit? Yeah. I mean, I I still like wing. I think wings are great. 
You have nothing on your screen, loot. What do you mean? You have nothing on your screen. Like, are you in this station with us? Ooh, that was a little glimpse. Okay, I'm back in my ship, and we're back up to 43 frames per second, so... Just odd. Um, the performance is kind of all over the map, right? Um, oh, actually, you know what? I believe that our target is in this system. Yeah. So, um... Yeah, it's just a th the planet A3 at the facility of Boulder Nutritional Exchange. I am also getting used to the new um, Galmap UI. I'm saying I like it. I don't think it's perfect, but I'm getting used to it. Um, 50 to 60 here at the station. Oh, 50 to 60, like, missions? Or 50 to 60 frames, frames per second. See, that's weird, because, yeah, like, I, like the, the performance is all over the map. So we could be in the same place, someone could have lesser hardware than someone else and get a better frame rate, and then it could flip the other way around in a different location. So I'm not sure what's going on, but um, I imagine that... Uh, that's because I, I just don't know uh, anything about uh, computer frame rates and what causes them and how GPUs work and all that stuff. Uh, so yeah, that's weird. Down to 20 frames a second, 19 in just normal space. What is causing this? Like, normally I'm averaging, like, 70-something. If I'm in normal space, it can be, like, uh, 144. We can launch G-Vine. What are you gonna, what are you gonna la launch? Oh, you're saying uh, we can launch, that I launched. Let's all launch. Launch! Yes, engage! Uh, stream is choppy. Yeah, I'm getting, um, strangely, uh, uh, a little bit of buffering on the stream, so apologies if it is unwatchable in any way. And by the way, how you doing, Shiv? Oops, what did I do? Oops, I dropped out of Super Cruise. Because I hit the wrong button. Um, but yeah, about 25 frames a second. But then you can see now it's jumped up to 144. So, what does it mean? I feel like it's like you get around a station and then some weird memory leak happens or something, right? Um, you don't even have to re-log, you can just pop into um, somewhere else, right? But yeah, this, keep in mind, like, there's frame rates in the game and then there might be some streaming issues, right? I am getting something where it says, like, YouTube is not receiving enough video to maintain smooth streaming. I don't know, let me see if I'm on, if I can open this widget. Yeah, I've got, like, stream status poor, and that might have more to do with the internet speed. I mean, maybe I've got too much, uh, too many frames moving around there, I'm not sure. Uh, two jumps to change ships if you want turrets. Yeah, I don't even know if there are turrets at this, this station. No, uh, she's talking about, uh, talking to me. Uh, I was complaining there's no, there's no turrets for me to use in her clipper. Ah, uh, yes. For the old uh, the old B fifty two bomber style. Yes. Yeah, you've been doing some testing on that. What have what have been the results of your of your? Uh, uh, well, the AX, ship? the um, turreted AX missile racks, <laughs> don't fire racks uh, work were well against uh, on foot targets, and they can also be used by uh, guesting commander. It's the only missile I believe that can be used by a guesting commander. Uh, of course, also the flak and flechette, but they're. They're also useful, but uh, not as well. They, they they work, but you gotta time the explosions. Well, the AX missiles have a bigger uh, clip size, and they can be turreted, and they can be used by another person, but they do good damage towards uh, the people on the ground? Oh, yes. Just just as well as uh, regular dumb fires. That's a little so they will, they will kill uh, a non-targeted, uh, sorry, non-shielded uh, target in, in one, uh, one rocket. That sounds lovely. Because uh, before that, you would have to use, uh, you know, don't fire yourself and be be uh, aiming your ship towards the ground, and, and couldn't right. have you couldn't have a guesting guy, uh, you know, working at the missiles. But with this one, you can. So it's pretty fun. Holy crap! Look at that crater. There's a very uh, out of place looking crater there. This is kind of a neat planet. 
Now, I've seen a lot of people complaining about some of the repetitiveness and textures, and I've seen it occasionally. I, I don't know, I kind of have this feeling like people might be cherry picking that one, like finding really bad examples or... Because, again, I think the planetary generation is all over the place. I've seen it amazing, I've seen it... Oh no, another night facility. I've seen it both ways, and I feel like uh, that argument about the, the repeating textures... I'm not noticing it on every planet. I'm noticing it every once in a while. But it hasn't it hasn't been um, terrible for me. Uh, okay. Coming in on Boulder Nutrition Exchange. Too many frames, not enough internets. It's true. Although I'm, I'm getting green again, so that should be sorted. Again, weirdness happens in different areas. It's, like, it's almost like... Um, they're rolling out the update across the galaxy, but it takes time to go from system to system. So some stations just haven't got the patch five yet, I'm sure. Yeah, that explains it. <laughs> oh, you just wanted to share loot. Well, that's good. Sharing is caring. That's what we're doing today. We're sharing missions. And this one is all like Norma Myers has a team of four heavily armed commanders about to descend on her. I, I, I would not want to be in her shoes. I don't know what she did to uh, elicit this kind of response, but I say we make the death as painful um, and humorous as possible. <laughs> How can we creatively assassinate someone? I was thinking about, like, could you get... Like, do, do the NPCs take fall damage? Could you lure them onto a roof and then push them off? <laughs> uh, I don't think so. Probably not. Another you can thing. punch her. Well, that's not, I, was, I was just going to say that. I'm like, I, I love the shocky thing on your um, I know G mine. We'll find it. We'll find a bright outpost soon, hopefully. Um, I also, you know, one thing I've noticed is that it. I don't know if this is just my sense, my experience, but I feel like 90 percent of the outposts that I have to go to for missions always are on the dark side of the planet. It's just like without fail. Um, I'm always, it's either on the other side of the planet or the dark side, right? Um, and I don't know what it is. Like, did they just, like, statistically spawn more outposts on the dark side? Because maybe there's a temperature thing? I don't know. But for this one, we're going to switch over to Sneaky Ninja Slush Slushes. Or Shush Slushes. My Sneaky Ninja Shush Slushes. Um, which has, um, modified, uh, footsteps, like tiny, soft, petite feet. And um, I've got a, a giant uh, 50 caliber machine gun with a silencer because that's reasonable. But this is more my assassination suit. And of course, uh, you can see my ship interiors. <laughs> now, why I like this is because you get an excellent, excellent uh, jump distance in your um, suit. Uh, your, your Odyssey uh, Exploration Artemis suit, whatever it's called. So that helps me keep to the roofs and be a ninja. So we're looking for Norma Myers. Now, we don't know if Norma's a guard. We don't know if Norma's um, an engineer. What we're going to want to do is try to find a computer terminal that has the base's staff roster and see if we can find out uh, exactly where Norma is uh, found to be lurking. And if anyone is wondering, uh, Phil's still here. Phil, are you uh, here? I am here. We're just uh, landing now. Are you instances? Instance, probably. Uh, yes, I think so. I do see you. Okay. I'm oh, just oh, dropping see. in from full cruise. When you use your jetpack, these guys hear it. But, uh, alright, we are looking for a computer terminal. Oh no, he wants to scan me. Um, hey there, Commander. Yeah, you go ahead. I don't care. Why are you moving? Scan yeah, detected. Yeah, well, boss. All right, we're good. He doesn't care yet. He'll regret that, though. Like, he obviously is not tuned into the pre-crimes division of the Federation. And what is up with that? Is, like, is Minority Report coming into the into the game? Is that the kind of, what they're going for, Root? Is, like, the feds are going to start doing pre-crime, arresting people? Because, like, yeah, we think, we think you're going to be a terrorist. But that is sort of... Uh, okay, here's Norma Myers. She's part of security. Level 1 access. Where's she at? Now, it's lovely. It'll give you a nice little marker. So, yeah, given that... Um, 
I have not committed any crimes, I think we don't have to worry about sticking to the rooftops on this one. And we can use our flashlight so we don't smack into buildings. And there we go. Poor Norma over there. Norma Myers, just a low-level scout. What is this symbol? Is that for Guardians? Thargoids? Iconography? Is there a, a decoder? If I look at this in UV light, will it show me the key to Raxla? Who knows? Alright. Now, Norma here is under um, a skimmer drone. Not a Goliath. You can land on these puppies, they don't mind. Really don't care. Hello, Norma. <laughs> I feel like Batman, just like, uh, gonna crouch on the, uh, crouch on the lamppost. It is kind of like a very Batman thing to do here. Whee! Norma, why don't you, why don't you scan me just Watch so that you know yourself. I'm not a criminal? What did you do, by the way, Norma, to, to facilitate this assassination mission? Just keep looking at me. Just keep Hold looking at me. Oh, she's scanning you now. Ooh, I was gonna zap her, but then didn't realize Shushani Mills is in the area. That would have been perfect, though. Perfect timing is just get her to scan you, and then I just beat her up from behind. Oh, you want to scan now too? Stay where you are. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll stay right here, and you can scan. Always respected the law. Scan Norma here. So why don't you get lost? Shuana, and we're gonna find a creative way to assassinate normal players. <laughs> hmm. So I mean, we could just use guns, but that doesn't seem very creative. I kind of want or to like grenades. Well, that's what I was thinking is like grenades, but I feel like as soon as you um, launch that grenade, she's okay. gonna be. Hmm. Here, here explosive comes... barrel. Here comes Givine with the the. Oh, yeah, there is an explosive barrel nearby, isn't there? Where is there? Just one? need to make uh, this guard leave first. By not being close to the guard. <laughs> you doing okay there, <laughs> uh, You got yourself like an Austin Powers situation here. Just stuck between two walls. Alright, so Norm... Whoa, 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 whoa. Interesting. So if the SRV is close, the guards will duck out of the way. I'm just gonna start walking forward, and if you happen to be there when my fist connects, then uh, that's on you. She does, like, I guess if you're kind of close to them, they're kind of spellbound, eh? Yeah, yeah, they will wait. It's okay. Is there an explosive barrel anywhere in this vicinity? Oh god, there's another guard up here. This facility is crammed. I have a feeling that when this assassination goes down, um, there will be a response. See, I feel like it would be easier if this was like she was on a rooftop somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I just tried kicking her in the head. I can stand on her and she doesn't mind. Okay, here's what I'm thinking. All of us crowd around her. And I'll do a countdown, like a 3, 2, 1. And then we all punch her at the same time. <laughs> and let's see if that's enough to just take her out. Just a minute, Commander. Oh, there she goes with another scan. Here, Givine, get get over here and uh, yeah, get in on this punching. Cool. We're gonna we're gonna try all punching her at the same time, and see if that's enough. Uh, a group, uh, Wait, Commander. a group punch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scan away. I don't care. I wonder can can you do this from? I don't think I can do this from. Uh... Hold on, Commander. No, I can't. Cannot do that from camera mode. Okay. All finished. So Norma won't leave. She can't go anywhere. Uh, well, we're all three like this. Let's just take a quick scan. It looks like we're clear. No other guards in the area. All right, Norma. No, 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 no. Everyone, okay. Everyone, get right close up to Norma. Let's all get nice and snug, as close as you can. All right. I'm gonna give three, two, one, and then we punch on like what zero would be. So three, two, one, punch. Right? Okay. Ready? Oh wait. Okay. Just put, put, start punching. <laughs> She's got the shields up. We have to punch through the shields. Let's beat her. Just beat her up. <laughs> no, oh, run, 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 run! Yay! Wait, what? What? Oh no! Guards, alarms, alarms! Immediately! Ah. See that lovely silencer? One clip though to get down those shields, eh? Yeah, but you need lasers. Um. Okay, it's time to run. Time to run. 
I do love this little pistol, though. Oh, I should probably put my shields up. Okay, uh, we also got a skimmer up there. I'll take him out. Plasma is actually not too great for dealing with these guys. But that's why I got this lovely silenced machine gun. Just take his shields down. Oh no 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 no! Using a health kit. Yeah, he's dead. I killed him. Okay. So, phew, that was a close call. This is one where if I get murdered, then uh, the mission fails. Okay. Now, the problem is that with the alarms off, if we all go to our ships, the base is going to uh, fuck us up, isn't it? Yes. So, do we retroactively now storm the base and kill everyone and then uh, disable the alarms and the power? We should bug out to the ships. Alright, screw it. Yeah, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here before we're dead. What is that? Take out these settlement defenses. Oh my That's god. Point, point defense, yeah. That is not really going to die, is it? Didn't even make a dent. Um, wait a minute. I'm like, where is my ship? Because I can't distinguish between the different ship icons. I think my ship's over this way. I don't know where Grind's clipper is. Now, the kind of cool thing is, even though the alarm's off, like, I guess all the guards are probably running to where that firefight was. And, um, no, no one knows that we're over here. Until they see us. I do kind of like that element. Oh, wait. Someone found me. Oh, sir. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, he tried punching me. How lovely. Using his own, my own tactics against me. Please oh god, don't oh shoot at us. Oh god, oh god, oh god. With the missiles. There's the old diamond back. Thanks for the light. It looks quite beautiful in the daytime. Or simulated daytime. Yep. You're all clear on the way out. Make your way to the ships and you're clear. Has that been you just <laughs> blowing everyone up? <laughs> Lovely. It's what I do. <laughs> Top to your sides. All right. I do love the, the new explosion effects. That's kind of like a little part of Odyssey that, um... oh man, my, my uh, hull was already down to 90%. Someone was shooting at me. Uh, but you know, it's like, obviously people are goo goo gaga over the leg stuff, um, but they've also made a, you know, a, a few, um, I guess changes or, or modifications. And oh my God, hold on get shot at real hardcore going into silent running they're okay with you until you until I got on board I guess yeah interesting interesting well I mean uh, that wasn't the most smooth James Bond stealthy assassinations that ever happened but um, we did it the the, the I want to say criminal is dead but I don't know if she was criminals whoever we needed to kill was dead and that's what's important so now we head back to the Lieb Liebnitz dock and we um, take the sweet, sweet sustenance of one power regulator. And you know what would be really cool is if we all get power regulators, right? That's what I love about the team sharing is I can find one mission with a power regulator. You guys can find one mission with a power regulator. We can share that with each other and kind of um, uh, uh, sort of uh, uh, farm the loot this way. And I'm getting Braben Tunnel. Oh no. Uh, when uh, when, when Gwyn entered the uh, Super Cruise with the Clipper. Uh, you're because you're in multi crew. Yes. Yeah, still, it, you know, and let me put it this way since day one of multi crew, since the very first inception of multi crew, uh, there have always been issues like that with um, instancing in the Blue Tunnel. But there was mention in the update notes, patch notes, about them um, 
uh, having made made improvements to uh, stability of multi-crew in this patch, so that's why we're testing it. Do you feel, because um, you have done some testing uh, before the stream, like, do you feel that it has improved, or, like, and if you would say improved, like, significantly, a little bit? Uh, I haven't tested any multi-crew um, for this patch before now, so... But but so far it's, it seems, seems to be the same amount of stability as before the patch. Like you're not noticing not... a difference. It's kind of just like if it's improved, it's been like a one percent improvement kind of thing. With my very limited uh, data at this point, I can't sure. see much difference. But but here's the thing: is like and and, and, and this is where it's like multi crew. I think was one of the, the the biggest features I looked forward to. The idea of being with people on the same ship is even more appealing to me than a wing. I would rather have like a crew of four, let's go on an expedition, get ourselves into trouble. But the fact that you can't have someone on your ship and they can fly your ship, and the fact that it's very buggy and unstable, and from the very get-go of how they kind of implemented it, it just never really took off. And I feel that sometimes Frontier is looking at, you know, what do we have the most demand for? What do people use the most? And that's where we're gonna put our time and effort. Multi-crew went out there, it kind of, you know, even though it was, I think, a feature that everyone wanted, because it didn't work very well, it kind of dudded, right? And because it dudded, they're not, like, just like similar to CQC, like, they're not putting any more time and effort and improvement into it. And I feel like, well, it's kind of a chicken and egg thing, right? Where if it did work, I think a lot more people would use it. I don't know. Do you disagree? Do you think that multi-crew is, like, overrated? Or do you think that, like, if it worked, it would be, like, the de facto? Well, I think if it if it was actually some kind of point in doing it uh, at the time, uh, you know, to bring two ships is better than bring, just bringing one ship with two people on. So there's no real incentive to actually do the physical multi crew, other than fun, you know, fun. Yeah, I'm, uh, here's here's where I think is like the, 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 obviously the stability of it. I think is paramount. Um, it's the functionality, right? It's like half the time multi crew is literally just like sitting in someone else's ship. Maybe you can use the heat sinks. Oh, maybe this person actually set up turrets and I can actually use them. Uh, or you might like find yourself multi-crewing on a ship where they have all that stuff, but they don't give you permission to use it. Um, or it just doesn't work. But I think like, like if, there, if the second uh, person could plot routes or take over steering the ship or um, be able to do functions that would improve like, okay, I can solve a little puzzle in a screen to the side and increase our jump range by 10% without using materials, then, you know, as you're going on an exploration trip, your co-pilot is uh, solving these little puzzles, improving your jump range or replotting the route or doing the scanning, right? But right now it's just like, there's not that much. And I, I, I want them to improve multi-crew. It's one of my uh, favorite parts of the game in terms of potential, but obviously not in terms of like the reality. What just happened? Did I just... What the heck? I think I just jumped out on a wing signal instead of the dock. Okay. I would like to uh, land at this station, please. <laughs> Press J to just engage. J. J. Um, what, ha what happened? Okay. Oh, there it is. Okay, that was really bizarre. I've never dropped and not had this station like right in front of me before. Little, little weird glitchy thing. That's fine. Uh, I'm still at the mission settlement. I'm using an apex to get to you guys, because my ship is at the station. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, you and know there's what? no NPCs there. It's all dark and no NPCs. I love I think the we taxis. killed we, we, we killed them all. Oh, we killed everyone. Oh, wait, so you ended up back at the, the, the base where... Um, so I guess, yeah, yeah like yeah. like you got into g ship, she took off, you blew Talon to death, and then it spawned you back on the ground. But your ship uh, is at the station. Yeah, that's where I left it when I jumped into a, a Vines Clipper when we were heading out for the mission. Right. I think that that's what I love about Apex, though, is like, you, you know, you get in that situation, it's like, okay, well, time to order a cab. <laughs> I, ha I, did, yeah, I did play for a bit where I was just, I left my ship somewhere and just apexed everywhere and eventually found myself in a part of the bubble where I'm like, I'm not even near one of my ships. 
Yeah, but with the multi-crew, it's like it doesn't really work. It's pretty unstable, so yeah, and there's no real reason to do it. So I think yeah. that's why it kind of failed. If there was actually a real benefit, if for example <laughs> you were stronger uh, as as two people on one ship rather than two people in two ships, then people would use it more. Well, let's boil it down. Is basically when you're in multi-crew, you get the extra pip, which is great for the pilot, but for the person who's just sitting in the seat that has nothing to do, it's not, uh, you know. What can you do in multi-crew? Well, you can go into ship camera mode and pretend to be a photographer, which is cool. Uh, I totally dig that. Um, you can only use the turrets or the ship launch fighter when you're out of super cruise and in a combat situation. So hey, great for combat zones, right? Um, but other than that, like again, it's kind of like all the multi-crew functions involve the ship launch fighter or the turrets. They require you to not be in super cruise or any of those other modes. You have to be physically somewhere. Um, and that, that, you know, it's like even just launching and, and, and docking the ship launch fighter is quite a process, right? So to me, it's just like, yeah, okay, I'd love to see a multi-crew update that focuses totally on multi-crew, but they need to address the stability and the functionality. You can't just fix the stability and people will be like, oh, yeah, you know, it's great. Uh, you kind of need to do both, right? And who knows? At least now, with, with Odyssey, there's, there's some kind of point because you're doing a mission on ground anyway. So you can just like ride to the place together oh, for fun. But the other, it's a slight improvement. The other day when we were doing that uh, stream, and I was I, I hit that geyser sideways, and then Givine's just like, "Oh hey, just get in my ship. I'll cart you back." That is a perfect use of multi crew, and that's like that alone. The physical multi crew has added huge functionality. Um, I am definitely like, that's cool. Um, do more of that. Um, but I, I think, like, the whole thing needs a, a look at, right? I, I do hope that that's, like... Because that was, a, like, a headliner feature for one of the uh, Horizon updates. I want to say it was, like... The first Horizons update was, like, planets, and the second one was engineers? And then the third one was multi-crew being the big headliner. I think. Yeah, this was before my time, so it's your, your call. All right, I'm cashing in this mission, and I'm going for a lovely little power regulator unit here. These little puppies are always nice to have in the inventory. You can never have enough power regulators. Uh, now, of course, I'm blocked by administrative uh, protocols. Let me just see here. Do I have a fine here or do I have a bounty? Oh, God damn it! Why does it... Okay, so I took an assassination mission, and of course the person I assassinated works for the faction that owns this station. So, yeah, I am just another system that I will forever be uh, wanted in because I refuse to pay off my fines. Ah! <laughs> I just, sorry, Dark Heavy, I think I just warped inside of you there. Um, but let me know if you all, uh, if you guys all get power regulators, I'll be very happy. And by the way, if anyone does need, I think what they've got here is um, a level 2 AR-50. It's not that impressive, to be honest. All right, so I think there are two more missions. So do, would you guys rather do a covert shutdown next or digital espionage? Uh, the espionage. All right, espionage it is. Uh, this one is power regulator. It also says like, okay, the reward for this is a power regulator. It says a power regulator will be required to bring the settlement online and access its facilities. So I believe this is um, uh, a place that has uh, no power. That's fine. I have a power regulator. We'll just put it in and take it out at the end. Maybe, just maybe, there'll be some scavengers there. But you know what? Um, yeah, let me let me try this multi crew. I want to come on one of your ships. Who has who has a spot in their ship? I promise I won't add a bounty to your ship. I think we all have spots. <laughs> okay. There's I'm in the crate, Mark II, so I have two spots, and the Dark Heavy is in the Challenger, so we have one spot extra, and guy has got a Clipper, which is a one spot extra. So I don't see your ship here, Phil, that's weird. I see um, Dark Heavy's in, in G-Mine, and then my own. Yeah, I'm just disembarking now, I'm gonna check where my ship is. It's supposed to be here, but um, yeah, we'll see. Oh, and now the elevator is like, no, you had your chance. I think you didn't see my ship because I was not docked in the station, which I am now. Perhaps. But yeah, I have been finding that um, the engineering man, like the grind is just, uh, is a little too much. Um, hello. 
But what's cool is you can just go around the outskirts of the bubble and find pre-engineered level three suits complete with a mod. Um, and so I've been kind of going ham on that and that's been cool. All right. Um, I'm going to go in dark heavy ship because it's wanted. <laughs> All right, let's let's head to where do we have to go? I don't know. You guys saw the mission too. Should give a destination. I think yeah, we have, to we have the next system over. We we have uh, mission uh, markers of our own. So I've actually never been in a Challenger as well. These frog-like uh, ships with their hind legs—they just look so frog-like. Actually, you could get I really hope you don't get the, the Braben Tunnel. Well, you know, if we do, we're doing uh, science and, and people will know about it and we'll demonstrate it for uh, anyone who watches this stream. So it's like, you know, I'm doing community service here, really. Mm, that's true. So lovely, my reputation is going up. I wonder how close I am now to starting to get some, uh, let's see here. Yeah, serious special forces. Not happy with me, and I don't know if I want to be pissing off a special forces company associated with Sirius, which is almost the galactic power in and of themselves. Oh, lovely, I'm wanted in the Federation. Well, go figure. Just like a typical Tuesday, where it's like, I get out of bed and find out that I've got a billion dollar bounty every damn week. Um, yeah, so like, all my uh, reputations are friendly. I used to be like, allied with everyone, but I've been just a bad person, I guess. Um, I would like to eventually start working on my rank. Alright, um... So where do we need to go for this mission? Let's just read the description. That might be helpful. We need to go to, uh, the Rossi Industrial Exchange in Rigo Sages. Rigo Sages is... Not too far by. Can I not go to Kama? There we go. Yeah, Rigo Sage is not too far away. I can plot a route. I don't know how I'm able to do that in your ship. When I plotted that route, did that do anything for you, Dark Heavy? Did that activate something? Uh, uh, no, go for it, dude. If you can do stuff, then... Yeah, I can view your gamer card, but that does nothing. <laughs> uh, I, I'm being shot at by the guards. I don't know why. What? At the station? Oh, probably because we're wanted by the Federation. Did they scan you? Uh, we better get out of here because uh, they're going to be swarming. Like, go, 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 go. Yeah, at this point, um, we like I think we probably botched that last assassination. And uh, <laughs> based on murdering a bunch of serious people, now the feds are on to us. So we're going to have to... Every mission now will be uh, starting off hot. There's no better way, though, to do it. Oh, oh yeah, I am so wanted already. This is what happens when you fly with me. It's just crime, crime and punishment. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to murder so many people. It is true though, if, um, you know, if at that last base, that woman had just allowed us to punch her to death, then we wouldn't be in this situation. Yeah, it's her fault. Yeah. Yeah, what... man, it's her fault. <laughs> Well, I mean, she's the one who got a, an assassination mission against her. Oh my god, I'm blue tunneling. It looks like. I don't know. Well, maybe it'll come out of it. Sometimes it does. Oh, wow. I can see uh, G-Vine through the hyperspace tunnel. That is really odd. Can I still go into camera mode? No. So I may be tunneling. possible <laughs> now this is this is this is great if you can get um if you're ever looking for a large ship of uh wait what you see spatula like being on your ship i'm on your ship am i uh, have i like m now telepresenced myself from physical multi-crew onto a different ship I it looks like that for me too it's the same icon wait what i guess that's only because you're you know, multi crewing in someone's ship, you get that icon. Well, I see G Vine as like a question mark, unknown status. Like, I don't know what cloaking technology you're using, but. Alright, 
What, what happens as when, long as when the tunnel? You take the coffee machine from my ship to her ship, then it's okay. Wait, you have a coffee machine here? Where's your coffee machine? Well, you wouldn't know. You're on G-Vine ship, not mine. I'm just going to make a nice little perca latte, coffee latte here and uh, wait for you to catch up. <laughs> um, I am just uh, lost I think, in an I, I think the, the, the Raven Tunnel is, is infinite in this case. You think it's, it's, like a, it's, it, it's not, not going to end? I should just um, exit to menu? Yeah, but yes. I, I, I still see G-Vine's distance increasing, though. That's so bizarre. Like... There's some sort of connection here that it's not like jump me from the universe. Or um, is the distance increasing linearly or not? Uh, well, I kind of can't Con see cons now, constant it's speed. Like, it's like under a bar now. But like, I can see, Obviously. I can see chat messages. I can see people coming online and offline. Like, it's so weird. Um, like, why am I in this tunnel? Like, is is this a fake illusion? I see you still as being crew aboard my ship. It's like I'm here, it's just my mind is trapped in like another dimension. Alright, well, you know what? We've seen it for science, now... It, it, I think it tends to happen when you're jumping to another system. But, alright, we're gonna try to be logging. It can also happen when you enter Super Cruise uh, from normal space, so it's like instance changes. Right. Yeah, no, that's definitely an area... That, wait, why am I spawning as feet? Oh, I guess I'll be back on the station. I was thinking for a second there, I'm like, is it going to spawn me back on the ship? That would be nice if it would just put me back where I was. Nope. Well, at least it did me the courtesy of putting me in my own hangar. That is nice. So that's also a problem with going on uh, expeditions in a physical multi-crew. What happens when <laughs> the guesting commander uh, drops out? And well, you're like 10,000 10, light years away, where does that person spawn back? Yeah, like all you need is one instance to um, disconnect, and no matter how many jumps you made to get out there, you're gonna, the other person's gonna warp back to wherever they last docked, I guess. Mm. That is unfortunate, yeah, because I, I mean, to me, I think like multi crew, one of the biggest potentials in the game, right? Yeah, multi-crew, power play, and crime and punishment are, I think, the biggest sort of um, areas of the game where, man, like, like the, these all had their own, they were all headliner updates to uh, part of the Horizon's quote-unquote season pass. Um, but they really haven't been improved since they were put in the game. And I think those are three areas where, like, yeah, like, do it. People will love that stuff. Okay, apparently the mission got unshared. Do you guys still have the mission? We do not. Wow, so if I disconnect, you guys all lose the mission. That's, mm, yes. That's a little bit of a concern there. Because, like, what if we, we just, like, complete it, and then that instance my game crashes? You guys will all lose it as well. It's the same with uh, ship uh, missions. Uh, but the difference here is that uh, we can't reshare. <laughs> Yeah. If it's if it's completed, yeah. Mm. I still got it. Hmm. I did not have it. Interesting. It's a little inconsistent there. Well, you know, uh, I guess the key is just don't die. <laughs> and don't disconnect. So your your real mission is just to stop me from dying because if I die, then everyone loses the everyone loses the mission except for Dark Aviator who somehow has gotten around the system. That's because I'm Dangus. Did you pray to ba Braben? Is that what happened? You c committed a sacrificial offering of frames per second? I oh. did some scientific experiments at his altar. Interesting. Oh, holy Braben, may you have my frames per second in this offering. <laughs> may upon the, al the altar of Rebuy. Yes, may the, may the RNG smile down upon us. All right, so for this mission, this is, um, let's just read the description here. So digital espionage, we have to download. So apparently some some other faction wants the donation list. They want to know, they want the Glen Gary, Glen Ross leads, okay? Give me the, give me the good <laughs> leads, okay? Um, apparently we might need a power regulator to bring this facility online. 
Uh, who knows? There could be uh, bad people uh, scavenging the facility. But we're gonna have to turn the facility on, find the data port, steal the data, and then take back the power regulator because I ain't giving those up. Sounds pretty easy, but we'll see if it turns out to be this way. And then after that, I've got a covert shutdown mission, which I think that one's gonna be hard. Uh, but I've got some ideas for that. Because I want to test, like, I love the covert missions and the idea of, like, layering on strategy. And, like, what can I do to distract the guards, right? You can knock out the air to one building, set off the alarms, all the guards will go to that building, and then you can run to the other side of the base and do uh, nasty things. Um, of course, you could do it the right way and just shut off the alarms and all that sort of stuff, but where's the fun in that? I feel like disabling the power, even if you shut down the alarms, like, people gotta know that's going on, right? No, I think the alarms will be raised automatically when the uh, power is being shut off. Yeah. Even so if you need to... disabled the alarms, right? Uh, no, I think disabling the alarms should make that not happen. Hmm. Uh, if it's a covert mission, then the alarms cannot be raised. That's an instant fail, so it, it has to work. Right. I don't think this one... Oh, it is a covert shutdown. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. So disable alarms is the first step always on the covert missions. Uh... Right, right. To not have insta fail <clears throat> but i find that too um when you're doing these uh missions where you have to like get the sample or get the alarm as soon as they know about it the whole base swarms on you and i guess that's a function of the alarms so if we shut off the alarms we just have to kill the couple technicians in the power center and while it's shutting down we're not going to get like everyone in the base coming to get a piece of us which makes sense i mean it kind of makes it a little bit linear, right? Like, I, I'm looking for... I also want to find, like, what are ways to do it without... Um, I guess there's no way to do it with a, a covert mission. If the alarms go off, you fail. So there's no way to do it um, creatively in that case. Again, another night side uh, uh, base mission. I'm sorry, Jivan. I don't control this stuff, but it feels like... It's, I don't know if it's, like, the odds, but... It seems to be, like, 90% of the time. What I like to do here is like I try to get it so that you've given up on daylight. We will see the light. I try to get it so that when my angle of descent is here, I try to think about it where if this is uh, 300 kilometers away, I want my altitude to be about 150, like almost like half of whatever the uh, thing. So it's like 200. My angle 75 or 70 here. I want to be about 140. Okay, yeah, this, this should be fine. But that way, like, you come in at a steep enough angle that you get really quickly into the base and you're not gliding forever or, or um, uh, overshooting and then dropping in a glide early. It's all about that angle of attack. Whoa, I thought I was going to crash there. That was quite a heavy glide transition. All right, Rossi Industrial Exchange. Are you guys already down there? Is there anyone uh, lurking around the base? Do we have uh, hostilities? Uh, I think I see some flashlights, not sure. Like, I see a lot of lights, but they look like, uh... ...ships. Well... That's fine. If there are, there's three of us, and how many of them, right? The fact that I see a lot of lights, I'm like, I can't tell if this facility is dark. And by the way, I should probably switch to Dumpster Shrimp, which is my Maverick suit. I can't tell if this facility is online or not because the ship lights are so powerful. <laughs> yeah, I'm seeing scavs here. Excellent. Well, I, I was hoping this wouldn't be boring. <laughs> I'm like, the scavs will make it all the more fun. If I don't block screen of death here, because it does seem... My frame rate is ticking up, but I can't see anything. But hold on a second. It's almost like... Uh, I am seeing your DBX though. Am I, you are seeing it or aren't? Uh, I, th I think that's the DBX. It's gotta be. No, what are you flying? DH? Yeah, a DBX. DH isn't a chieftain or a challenger? Yeah, I'm in a challenger. And I'm currently crouched on the top of a processing column. 
Hmm. So yeah, I am literally on a black screen. I'm trying to exit my ship. Yeah, I see your deep has landed, landed here. It's on the ground. Am I in front of it by any chance? Like, where's? Can you see the pilot? Am I still in my cockpit? Have I got lost in my ship interiors? I have the feeling that I might just need to relog again. I am checking. Which means I'll have to share the mission again. Yeah, I, I can't see your body anywhere. Okay, I've somehow stepped off my ship into... This is the true Armstrong moment. This is the if Neil Armstrong was blind moment. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna relog to the main menu. Hopefully that will just put me back on the planet. Where I landed. Let's see. Okay. I just started taking incoming fire. So... Uh -oh. um, uh, uh, for, what, for what reason? Well, it's uh, the I scavengers. Can act as a uh, oh, what the hell was that? Okay, I, it put me back right where I wanted to be. Excellent. Okay, let me just get this team thing back. Uh, does, can one of you send me an invite to the team? There you go. Gracias. And then I, in turn, shall share this wonderful mission again in case you guys have lost it. That one. Okay. We're good here. We're good. Uh, am I in the right suit? Yes. Okay, wonderful. Alright. And Dark Heavy, are you still under fire? No, it just seemed to be the one speculative shot, and now they seem to have gone back to normal, and there are no alarms sounding at the base. Wait, so they just fired off a couple rounds at you, and they're like, oh, sorry, my mistake. <laughs> Carry on. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. It's like, what's that shadow perched on top of that really tall refining column? Let's take a shot at it and then go back to normal. <laughs> crazy NPCs. I will take all of the chips. I'm hungry for chips. Give me chips. Alright, um, well, without further ado, let's let's murder some people. There's I, I guess one there straight is no, ahead there. There is no power here, right? Yeah, no, we gotta put the power on. Alright, so let's find that power building. Hello, newer little. Oh, the shields are up. Nice! Good little uh, use of explosive barrel. Good efficiency. Oops. Must reload, must reload. Shoot you in the back, I'm sorry. I, that's not honorable, but it's efficient. I do like this sort of like uh, one two punch that I. I kind of came up with my um, suit here where I've got the little tiny pistol that shoots the burst lasers and that gets their shield down pretty damn quick uh, and then you just follow it up with this you know, submachine gun but it's you know it's a nice little one-two punch yeah I used the uh, zenith uh, burst laser as well it's really good very, very strong yeah, laser pistol was actually the first one I upgraded it because I'm like, this thing packs a little wall up even level one. Oh, wait, I made a boo boo. So, yeah, I just wasted my power because I don't have access. So, what you have to do really is overcharge these guys and the door will open. Now, I do wish um, the scavengers I find are all usually outside. There's very rarely do you find them in the facilities. And I think it would be kind of cooler um, to put them in the buildings because then, well, I mean, look, that would eliminate the fact that you can't just like, oh, not enough power, hold on. I'm going to have to take one of my juice packs. Because uh, you can just do these uh, missions literally by um, coming in a ship, uh, blowing everyone up. Oh, I have to have the power regulator on me, of course, yes, yes, um, my mistake. Hold on, I'll be back. We also will need uh, level 3 authority to actually power on the thing. Oh, okay, I'll get a deep breach. But yeah, I have those. So. Oh, you have deep breaches? Okay, good, good, good. Teamwork! Makes actually, teamwork. it's not in my inventory, so you have to bring some breaches. 
Well, yeah, that's the thing that really drives me nuts too. Is why I guess because they're illegal, but. <laughs> Um, when you exit your ship, you have to manually uh, put the e breaches on your body. Otherwise, they will not uh, put there by default. And I guess that makes sense because if a guard scans you, you got an e breach in your pocket. This guy's up to no good. Uh, astronauts aren't real, Ship says. I mean, well, uh, I'm I'm an astronaut. I'm in space right now. Saying I'm not real. Because if you're saying I'm not real, then that means the entire galaxy isn't real, and therefore we all live in a simulation. And, I don't know, you might be right. You might be right. Uh, okay, power regulator. Uh, I'll t I, I don't know why there's like... I have one power regulator and also two power regulators. I found a dead scientist here with uh, level 3 access. Oh, lovely. In the power building. Yeah, sometimes at these bases you will find uh, the old crew has been slaughtered, and you can clone their identities. All right, I'm just running back now. Those e-breaches can be handy as well. Uh, it's a lot more convenient. Like, I wish that there was more than you could just carry ten of them or something as opposed to two. Uh, but when you find those locked crates outside, now you can go look up a computer, find their code, but you're only able to do one at a time. Uh, however, um, e-breaches will get those guys open as well, so it's it's always like, there's never not a good reason to have a couple e-breaches on you. Alright, coming back to the power facility, I'm sweating hard, I have frothed all over the front plate of, plate of my suit. It's on the second level here if you want to scan the guy. Well, let me just get this regulator in there. You know what, I want to use an e-breach. Because I like them. I think they're cool. I also appreciate the uh, color coding they have done. So all the hacked stuff and hacking stuff is purple colored. Uh, yes. So let, let, yeah. So instead of I'm gonna press F. And I love that it puts a little thing on the screen, and you get this little hacking power bar, and everything's kind of like going crazy. I think that's super cool. That's like one of those little touches that you often find in. Um, Elite Dangerous that just like gets me excited. Alright, power should be coming on shortly, folks. Now, I will go get that access. You say there's the guy up here. Yeah, Barry. Barry Meja. We hardly knew ye. Does he have a bounty? No bounty. bounty. Alright, his identity is rife for stealing. <laughs> We're all Barry now. We are all Barry. We will remember <laughs> Barry by becoming Barry. Um, now, this mission, we don't have to um, uh, power up the base. It is on fire, of course. We could go around and uh, kill those fires by rejigging the atmosphere, but I kind of like fire. Um, hopefully, we can find uh, a dead body that's on fire, because <laughs> the other day I found someone. Um, I'm going to go take these. I found uh, some poor body, like, slumped in the corner uh, where the flames were. And their whole body was on fire. I think that was actually the thumbnail for this uh, stream. But I do like the fire effects. They're pretty, and they're not tanking the frame rate. See, weirdly enough, we're getting like 20 frames a second on a, on a, a station, but here on a ground facility where we should be tanking, I'm getting a nice and clean 40, which is not, you know, the best, but um, certainly an improvement. Um, okay, so... I think it's... Let me just check the mission log again. We're looking for... Uh, that's weird. Shouldn't it give me the mission details? I guess in this case, for digital espionage, it's not telling me which data port or what building I should be looking in. Well, there's usually one and a half, so we can, we, we can just check everything. It's fine. Is that a subtext for looting everything? What? What's the subtext? The data port? Check everything? I say yeah, like go, go nuts on the looting. Let's, let's take everything they've got. Leave nothing behind. I mean, this, this place was abandoned anyway. We turned the power on. It is our base now. I do just want to like 
I, I, I love um, the cutter tool. And even though it's a little glitchy to like undo these panels, I know like, oh, I don't need anything in here. It's gonna be like G meds and insight suites or whatever. Something I probably have tons of. I still feel compelled to open every locker. I'll do the G meds one on. No data in here. All right, I think we're probably gonna wanna check the, well, hold on. So there's another way you can do this if you wanna be a little smarter. Some people are in this system. Wait, what? You're talking about like ships going overhead or? There's an industrial data port. Uh, so it's gotta be that one. Oh, in the system chat, hold on. I don't see anyone chatting, but maybe that's just because I just got in. But yeah, I mean, this is the, the crazy thing. Like, we're, we're here in open, and um, I'll tell you, man, like, um, a lot of people avoid open because of the gankers, and I get it. Um, ganking is never really a pleasant experience. Um, very rarely will it actually be one, but um, <clears throat> I actually find that, like, the ratio of gankers, like, I, I was doing the, the CG in open for uh, Salvation. And I got pirated by a ship, and I was actually out on my balcony. Uh, like, I'd been, I'd been watching episodes of TNG while doing the uh, community goal. And I've got Star Trek blaring, and I'm out on my balcony, um, just as I'm sort of uh, on Super Cruise Assist, and all of a sudden I hear this noise, and I'm like, oh shit, I just got interdicted. I run in just in time uh, as we're just dropping out. So um, I've got, the, like, the bad FS2 cooldown, right? And uh, the guy scans me, and he's just like, yeah, you've got 16 Guardian whatevers. Give me one. And I'm like, oh, yeah, sure, totally. <laughs> yeah, please. <laughs> one? You can have two, you know what I mean? Uh, uh, you know, a, a proper gentleman pirate in a keelback no, no, of, of all ships. And it was a, <laughs> a, a, a pleasant interaction, and uh, we 7 at the end, and I said, you know, I, I, I hope your children are able to eat tonight. And, uh, and that was that, right? And, hey, great experience. You know, he was probably just looking to get one or two cash in for the community goal, get a little tick in the box. And a lot of those uh, people that just role play uh, piracy, you know, they're really just in it for um, the fun of the experience, right? And those are great experiences. And that's where it's like, that's where I say, I won't play in anything other than open. Unless there's something I really need to do in solo. I just want to be in open because of those little emergent experiences that... Uh, for me, make the game special. Of course, the flip side is uh, you will get ganked. <laughs> but, you know, I've been streaming every time uh, in open from, from day one, and uh, not once have I been ganked. Now, part of that might be because, well, I'm like a, a small channel. I'm not, you know, if I'm sitting in Antwerp and stream in open, he'd be dead before, <laughs> before he could get out of the system, but... You know, I don't, I don't think uh, it, open mode is not as scary as people, I think, associate with it. You, you right, right, Andy? Right, Andy? Oh, no. Andy Jacobson is dead. That's actually that's my old boss's name. And he was... <laughs> I don't want to say anything on the stream, but let's just say I'm not mourning. <laughs> At least this little digital guy. All right. Um, I, I can only find three data ports in this space, and I've checked them all. And none of them. Yeah, because I'm like, I also don't have. Hold on, are we at the right place? Rossi Industrial Exchange. Rossi Industrial Exchange. Maybe some weirdness because of me having to leave and come back. Uh, wait, activate the Settlements Power Center, locate and download the copy of Faction Donator list. Yeah. It should be here. Let's see here. There's also a power data port in the power facility that we probably missed. Mm, no, I checked the power one, but I don't have uh, the, uh, you know, the objective little screen on the top right. I don't yeah, have anything there to do. This could be a bug. This could be a bug. May need to reinstance. 
Uh, wait, habitat data board. I never found one in the habitat. And I also checked that one. Unless... Because hmm. also, like, the one thing that was interesting is with mission sharing, they were mentioning something about uh, if, you know, one of you guys, for example, uh, got a mission critical item and then died, it would be recoverable. Uh, I read in the, um, the patch notes that when a, a team member who also has a mission picks up the mission uh, item, it goes into the mission owner's inventory right away, so that shouldn't be possible to happen. Low temperature detected, leaving pressurized environment. So my thought, well, let's just let's just do a thorough uh, check. But again, th this could be uh, simply a bug, right? Let's check the power one again. Yeah, I'm at the hub data port. I'm taking all the stuff here now, uh, all the data. Entering pressurized oh, I love the data. It's right here, sir. The data. 70 seconds. Oh my god. What data did it show you? Uh, I can't remember. But I also had 70 seconds, so I think it's the same. Yeah, this part is the kind of like, okay, now I'm downloading the data. Now I just get to waste 70 seconds of my life. But actually, I think this might be a good time to just do a quick uh, bio break. Um considering right but yeah i'm starting to get that like flare up in my back um okay so what i think we'll do um it, it, well i'll tell you what while i'm on the bio break if you guys well take your own bio breaks as well and stretch and hydrate and all that stuff it's a good reminder um see if we can find it if not then i guess what we can do is try leaving the facility and coming back uh and sort of going through the motions again see if that maybe there was a glitch because um didn't feel like 70 seconds actually um because but, yeah because we were here before we had the mission that's what i was thinking is like you guys you guys spawned in as i was spawning back so maybe if we all of the mission shared and then try relogging that should work i mean tell you what um there's still good loot in here hey I, 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 I don't know what these propaganda things are for but they probably unlock some engineers somewhere um okay so i'm just gonna go ahead to power then I will take a five minute bio break. I'll put up the splash screen. When we get back, we will uh, try relogging. We'll have to repower the base, unfortunately. Yeah, we should go back to Super Cruise and relog and then go back down. Yeah, and you should go first. That's what I'm thinking. That might fix it up. Unless. No. Alright, I might as well just download this stuff. Okay. So, quick bio break. We will be back uh, shortly and continue with this madness and then there's a couple more missions to get done and then i don't know we'll, we'll, we'll see what we figure out at the end i kind of want to do i love the stealth missions i really do um maybe do a, a combat zone or do a space mission who knows we'll find out soon but uh first a quick bio break with a message from our toilets sponsor
That was not a scene transition. Good enough. Okay, what did you say? Ah! <laughs> you fat man. That's so creepy. How did you get up there? Why is my jet... Oh, I'm out of power. How did that happen? Hold on. Is there not a power port around here? Mm, screw it. I'll just use a cell. Oh, here you go. Hey, there you go. Get nice and snug. This would be good when you're uh, when you got waves of people attacking. Get a nice little high ground. You can have a nice view of the door where they come in and hurt you. All right. Well, let's start this power down procedure. Does there, uh, anyone need the power on for any reason? If so, you've got about a minute or two minutes or however long it takes. Now I don't know how I feel about this 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 um I kinda like the idea of this like limitation where you have this timer. And when I'm doing missions I'm trying to be really efficient. So in these sort of sometimes when the power during this this very long period where this is going, you could still go and run and, and uh explore the base. As long as you get back here in time to nab that regulator. So maybe I don't know. Let's see if we can find some some nice loot around. Or maybe just boom boom. Boom boom. Make some boom boom. Uh let's check. That was me. That was me. I just blew up a red barrel. Because it just it, honestly it's so tempting. And I don't know. Do you guys are there's a game that I like to play. It's a stupid little crappy one called Game Dev Simulator. Have you ever played that game? It's basically, it's like one of those like sim games where you get a little team and all you get to do is like name your game. You name your game, you allocate people to like, you know, through slider bars like, do I want them working on graphics or sound or, uh, 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 yes, loot, I'm finally back. I know, that was a long bio break. Um, no loot around, I'm not there. I feel that that is a suspicious thing to say, loot. I'm watching the horizons now, waiting for a killer loot. Um, but anyway, yeah, so this game dev sit thing. Hello. Are we all on here now? Is this the place to be? Oh, I missed it. <laughs> but uh, 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 the game dev sit game, it's like, you know, you, I'll name the game silly, uh, silly names. Like, I'll call the game, like, 
my butt, and then it'll be like a news release of like, this game dev studio has released my butt into the wild, and fans love my butt. Um, <laughs> you know, <clears throat> and then you'll get scores on the game, and then you can hire more staff members and train them on different areas and all that sort of stuff. It's a fun little game. But at one point in the game, uh, you'll get a message from a guy named Cave Johnson, who, if we all remember, I think it's a portal, uh, portal reference. And he'll say, hey, I, I know you're working on this, uh, these sweet games. Um, if you were to put red barrels in a game, I will, and that game does well, I'll give you an insane bonus. I'm going to blow up this red barrel so don't be close. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, and yeah, so then the, I think the idea is like you, if you put the red barrels into an action-related game and that game gets rated more than 8 out of 10 kind of thing by the critics, then you will get... Um, a nice special bonus. Um, so whenever I see red barrels in a game, I think of uh, Cave Johnson emailing the developers and saying, we need exploding barrels. Please make them red, and I will give you a bonus. All right, power is out. Taking that regulator back. It's in good hands. All right, so let's try this relogging thing. We're going to head uh, back to orbit, make sure that everyone has the mission shared, and then... Uh, see if we'll, we'll just have to basically come back and do all this stuff again but i want to see if that fixes the glitch so that if people out there are watching this and this happens to them they will know what they need to do how would you explain um the actions that we're about to do though in terms of lore <laughs> like how does this as in like as in like you get to a base the mission is not working so you just fly up to the space and then back and then it is working. <laughs> like, how do you explain that in Lord in like immersion terms? We must find a way. There must be a way. Everything can be explained. It's only like that's that's that, that's my challenge with everything and that happens weird in this game is how does this fit into the lore? How can I make this work? Like, what is the rationale for instancing? Is it multiverse? generates loot. I keep thinking of uh, loot. <laughs> Alright, um, so let me just make sure. Yeah, I've cheered out the mission. Everyone has the mission. Uh, Dark Heavy, you're still on your feet. I know... Don't ruin my immersion. This is This isn't just a game. It is a way it is a lifestyle. I mean that's the weird thing. I do feel like Elite to me is not um you know, it's more than a game. It really is. It's a, well that's Raxla. <laughs> Debbie Raxla. When I, I, I have, uh, like, an idea in my head for, uh, I don't know if I'll ever do this episode, because it's kind of like, you can't, once you do Raxla, you can't undo Raxla, right? Okay, everyone's in Super Cruise? Cool. All right, we're heading back down. And hopefully this time, the right loot will spawn. Or wait, Dark Heavy, are you still down there? Yeah, hold on. Wait for Dark Heavy to leave that instance before we, uh... Head back. Oops, I'm about to drop. Do not drop. Dark Heavy, let us know when you are in uh, Super Crows. Hmm, I think you are. Yep, 
Dark Heavies and Super Crews. All right, heading in. So I'll go first, make sure them thingies spawn. Hopefully we'll get the uh, uh, little panel in the top right indicating that we are in the right spot. So we're going to keep our eye on that panel as we come down. And really we should see mission objectives. That would be what we're looking for. Although I haven't done many of these data pulling ones, so maybe maybe they don't show up. Maybe they show up within a kilometer. I'm still not getting one. This whole mission could be borked. Maybe mission sharing itself is what... Um... Oh wait, no, there it is, there it is. It was there and then went away, hold on. Interesting. Okay, let's see if it will... Yeah, it was there for a second. I swear I saw it, I'm not crazy. Oh, thank you for that light. <laughs> I'm like, I could just go a little bit to the left. Let me land. Oh, there was a spot. It's like one little tiny rock I can land on. But anything, like, it's like, I can land on the space of, like, an inch. There we go. Lovely. And we're back. Now let's see if uh, maybe those people spawned again. We have to be on the lookout for criminals. Scavengers. So yeah, I have the mission data. It looks like it's working functionally this time. I do. Or I, uh, I did, and it seems to kind of like go in and out, but I'm going to assume that it's probably working now. Interestingly enough, I do not see any uh, scavengers. So I don't know, maybe uh, when we cleared them out before, maybe they work on kind of a timer. Yeah, weird. I saw the mission objectives, and now I don't. So I don't know if those just pop up and pop down, but... Well, there's only one way to find out. You gotta move at her. Yeah, I, I do hear that that's a thing um, on this update. The move outers are back in full force. Personally, I prefer orange sidewinders or black mambas. And I probably forgot to bring the power regulator. Yep. Oops. What am I, an amateur at this point? Now, curious. Will that uh, guy with the level 3 access still be up here? Yes. And his name is still Barry Mesha. Interesting. So the, the, the corpses uh, remain. They are persistent. At least something is... Uh, some things remain the same. Hold on. Let me look at this computer. How does this computer have power anyway? I haven't powered on this base. Let us see if there is a highlighted panel. That's weird, because like I did see that pop up for a second. Oh, yeah. Habitat Data Port 1 has a mission symbol on it, so we are in business. Okay. <coughs> yep, back to the ship. That'll give some time for Dark Heavy to... Um, get back into the universe. <laughs> do, do you like my parking? <laughs> it's like parked on a hill. One of my landing gear is actually like in the ground. Yeah. All right, give me that power regulator. Thank you very much. And also something neat that I noticed is, let me just, um, hold on, let me show you something here. I'm just going to put my shield up, and I'm going to do a little overcharge. Don't stand in front of me. So you see, my um, total energy is at 74%. If you walk into the blue circle, it'll start charging. All you need to do is stand in the blue circle, and you'll have unlimited energy charge. So I'm wondering if that might be an interesting way to kind of exploit um, sort of unlimited shields, <laughs> unlimited shield power, by just standing in your little blue circle. 
But I, I, I just sort of um, noticed that by happenstance the other day when I was uh, getting low. I thought, I, I thought you had to board the ship to refill it, but no, it will uh, literally uh, charge you if you are standing next to your ship. I, I like that. I like that. Well, that's in, in my sort of lore explanation is like, yeah, you're getting like, uh, I guess like wireless power, but yeah, you're basically plugging into your ship. And that's, that's what I was thinking. Um, you know, one thing that annoys me about the um, waiting around for data, um, like I don't want to wait 70 seconds by this, you know, sort of data pad for me to get everything I need. And what I thought might be an interesting dynamic is give me the options, either A, I can download it wirelessly. And if I'm doing that, people as they see me downloading will have no problem with that because they don't even know I'm doing it. Or let me plug in. And if I plug in, I get the data almost instantaneously, but uh, then the, if they notice me, I'm, I'm sort of uh, suspect. I think that would be a good kind of compromise. Okay, I think we have power. So let's head to the hab. And let's have a race as to who can down who has the faster download speed. We're all gonna be like I guess like can we all download the same mission data? At least the data panel is in the same place. Familiar with the jury? Ah, there we go. Faction donator list. Thirty seconds. That's not terrible. I'll tell you what. While that downloads, do one of you guys want to hit the power? If you're in the power facility, just. Start powering down the base for max. Because, yeah, 30 seconds is more than enough time to download this data. But I'd be curious to know if you guys can also um, download the same data from the data port, or if, like, once one person has it, everyone has it kind of thing. We'll see what happens. Okay, I just downloaded the data. Did you guys get a mission update? Okay, so really only one person has to download the data. That's cool. Oh, but then Gvine's also able to download the data as well. So, hmm. It might be like, like I, I did fail a bunch of missions and I noticed that when you, um, uh, like when you fail the mission, sometimes the items that were mission required, they'll stay in your inventory, but they'll still be marked as a mission item. So I've got like a personal document in my inventory that is like a mission item. Which is interesting. Uh, well, I guess while the power is powering down, we might as well loot what we can. I'll take that, why not? I am uh, often uh, now maxing out my inventory, though, uh, and having to go to bartenders and sort of say, hey, okay, let's trade some of this for that, and I guess I'll sell you this. And I really wish that they would get rid of the overall cap. I think that's my biggest thing, is get rid of the overall cap. Just let us have, like, caps per item, just like you did with the original engineers. And then everyone will be happier. Oop, another data port. Like, my assumption is that eventually all the materials they've added must have some sort of um, purpose or function uh, that just maybe, like, isn't in the game. Like, I'm assuming, for example, um, vehicle schematics, I'm assuming we're going to get a new SRV, and I wouldn't be surprised if we get SRV engineers. I wouldn't be surprised if that's already kind of, like, something they're planning to roll out, but, like, let's get through our alpha. We know it's going to be rough. We'll get through the initial release. We also know it's going to be rough, but... You know, the bankers are making us do it or whatever. And then at some point or another, um, maybe at the console release, we'll see new SRVs and maybe SRV engineering. And that's where those could factor in. And then maybe that, you know, that cap media or those other random materials might suddenly become important again, right? Oh, that's true. I think, does it unlock an engineer? Is that what it's for? Well, let me... Makes sense. 
send me pictures of cats to unlock my services. What is he doing with all that cat media, though? That's my question. <laughs> yeah, well, that's the... That, and that's what I'm saying. Little tinges of humor like that. I'm like, someone on the developer team that has a sense of humor, at least. I just want to see more of that. The cat media thing, actually, when I first found it, I had a good laugh out loud moment. Like, it was a, a moment of joy and elation. So if any developers are watching this, I don't know why you would be. You should be working on the game. But if, <laughs> but if you are watching this, then uh, please add more cat media. Let's see dog media added. I want some borky, borky dogs. All right, cool. So we have... The what? Yeah, Doggos. I want to see Doge in this game. I want to see Dogecoin. All right. So we can head back to the station uh, at the other system, cash in, and then we've got one more mission. And after that, I'm debating. I'm like, we could just like go find the biggest, meanest facility we can and murder everybody for no reason. We don't need a mission to do that. Sometimes it's actually better when you don't have a... <laughs> it's senseless violence. Oh, my. And then Loot's saying, didn't I tell you that week, the blue circle charging? No, it was probably Scorb. I don't know. Maybe you did tell me. I have no idea. Wait. Dark Heavy. Oh, no. You're not in the group. Damn it. I forgot about Dark Heavy. You're sending me um, multi-crew invoice. To your peril. Uh-oh. He's going to silence us. Uh, yeah. Multi-crew invite from Dark Heavy 8 has been automatically rejected doing be due to being in a multi-crew session already. But wait. I wasn't in a multi-crew session. What the hell? I do like that you get notification that someone's like trying to multi-crew with you unsuccessfully. Weird, because yeah, I guess like with quote unquote teams, there's less, there's a little bit more of a blurry line between multi crew and wings. Like it's just a team or a team, right? It seems to be anyway. Uh, hold on, I gotta program the destination. So we're heading back from Rio Sages to America. Hopefully, yes, we don't have to... I love it when um, you can jump from the planet's surface right back into... Um, uh, what do you call it? Witch space. As opposed to when your destination on the other side of the planet, so you have to then leave the planet, get under the gravity well, go around the planet, and then jump. It's so much more convenient this way. And there we go, this lovely loading screen. The only place in the game where I can get a solid 144 frames per second. Back to Liebenitz Dock. And let's see, what are the what are the bounties looking like? Yeah, twelve grand by the the, the Federation, but like you think about it, like, 12 grand is, like, the cost of a handgun in this game. Like, it's not really much of a deterrent against crime, if that's what it's supposed to do. <clears throat> like, could you imagine, though, if, like, the, like, like bounties were, like, you know, a billion dollars, right? As an example. It would really make uh, not wanting to pay them a much stronger, <laughs> a much stronger argument. Like sometimes it's just like, oh, great, I've got a bounty in the Federation. That means I can't dock at, like, one-third of the bubble. Um, and in order to rectify that, I just have to pay 12 grand and waste my time a little bit by going to a detention center and then just walking out of it and going back to what I was doing, right? If that bounty was a billion dollars, people might think twice. Yeah, no, I definitely, like, I want to do a crime and punishment video. I think, like, uh, my priorities, I'm working on one. I'm doing some filming tomorrow with, uh, you guys know who it is, but I'm not going to say it on stream, but there's a, going to be a special guest who I'm very excited to work with on the next uh, Dangus episode. Damn you, security. Um, 
And, uh, of course, I've put out my first How to Die video, How to Die uh, in Stations. Uh, that just went out, I want to say yesterday or the day before. And uh, there's another one very close to uh, completion for How to Die on the Ground. I just need to get a couple more deaths in on there. And uh, there's a few more videos that I want to do in that series. Like that, that is, you know, I would say after the second video, it'll be like 40% mm, of the list done. It's a big chunk of it. But I want to get that done. But uh, I'm already starting to just work on the ideas for a crime and punishment video, what I would like to see. I don't know if there's a point to doing it because I doubt the developers will watch my video. Who knows? Maybe it'll, people will really like it. It'll get out there and, and they will see it. But yeah, special guest, it's Braven. Of course. Yeah, I just uh, tweeted up at him. I'm like, yo, Braves, you want to do some dengus? Uh, um, oh, yeah. Well, you can still complete the mission with anonymous docking. You just have to dock. Uh, and then... Um, oh, I might not be able to. No. I can't because it's completed. I'm sorry, Dark Heavy. I've screwed up. I feel bad because this was a power regulator too. Well, t I'll, t I'll tell you what, we complete the next, oh shit, oh shit, I'm trespassing. I forgot to ask for docking. Oh my God. No, 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 no. Okay, one more fine. Just add it to the list. No big deal. I swear I requested docking, but... Yeah, no. Oh, no. A 400 credit fine. I mean, how do they issue that fine when I'm using anonymous access in the first place? That's my question. It's like, you already knew I was wanted. So who do you know who to give me the fine? If I was anonymous, so to speak. Also, ship scan detected. I am going silent running. Okay, just slide in this DM here. Okay, okay, wonderful. Givine, are you on the concourse? Let me see here. Where Where is the concourse? They are a little bit sneaky to find, actually. I, at first I was like, can you not find them? But it is literally just um, a case where it blanks out the windows until you get close. Um, but man, I, I sometimes spend a, a long time in my last video, yeah, there was that, like, me banging up against the concourse. It took quite a while for me to track that concourse down. Uh, I've gone too far. Hold on, I kind of want to get my shields back up, because I feel... Because, like, the concourse is a special building type, but then you just realize just how massive these stations really, truly are. Um... They're not tiny little, oh wait, I can see indicators. There it is, there it is. Okay, let me let me come visit you. Can you see me? Don't be afraid, there is a barrier. Yeah, I can target you guys, hello. Now, I kinda wanna shoot guns right now and show you that you could, but then I'm gonna fail the mission or something. Hello. If I had happy sparkles, I would be launching chafe right now, but I only have heat sinks. And apparently, uh, I don't know why, but my he, I can't use my heat sinks because of low power. So obviously, I've, I think I've damaged my uh, oh, dark heavy. <laughs> That's so cool. I can see you crouching in there. I do love that this is connected. Like, the fact that I can see you through. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. I screwed up. Oh, thank you, loot. Loot's just like, yeah, by the way, this whole time we could only hear you. So since I got back from the bio break, I forgot to put um, the the, uh, <laughs> oh, no. the mic on. So I've been just talking to myself. <laughs> okay, I'm going to oh. go down. Well, it's not out of character, at least. So whatever important things that you guys said, I hope you remembered uh, to say them again. Because I think it's, it's only <laughs> it, but Loot confirmed that it's only been like since the bio break, right? Cause it, yeah, it's like weird where when you switch um, like OBS scenes, I can switch from one to the other, but the desktop audio is where like Discord and the game come through. 
and I don't want to go off for a bio break, um, and and then you guys are like um, burping and farting and flushing toilets and all that sort of stuff, and <laughs> everybody's hearing it, so I muted it there, but forgot to unmute it. Oh boy, I'm an amateur, you know? But, you know, I feel like I've come a long way since the first time uh, streaming. I used to stream, like, CQC and stuff uh, back in the day. Kind of stopped doing that. Um, did the Enigma Expedition as well. Kind of stopped doing that. Yeah, it's other people, dude. Uh, I stopped doing that for a while. And then, because uh, honestly, like, streaming is not as easy as it looks, right? There's there's the technical aspects, and then there's just the whole, like, you know, you're, you're, you're trying to be somewhat entertaining while you're playing, so it's not just heavy breathing. You know? At least you know that's what you're trying to do. I mean, it'll always be successful, but uh, you can definitely feel like exhausted after streams. And I, I felt I was just kind of exhausted. It wasn't really, you know, like I, I wanted to focus on the videos. But lately, I've been really enjoying streaming. Um, when I first started, it was kind of like I had to force myself to do it. And once I started getting into the rhythm of it, it's something I now you know look forward to every week and think of, think of, find myself thinking during the week like. What stupid shit are we going to do on Saturday kind of thing? <laughs> uh, let me see if there's anything in these weird submenus that I don't like these submenus. Yeah, my, my bounty is now 17,000, so a little trespassing has not helped. See, look, I, I want that Han Solo vest. Yo, give me that, give me your clothes. I, 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 Alicia Dust Dudley, at least give me your tailor. Like, do you guys see the same uh, cool Han Solo vest on this lady? Minus yep, the yep. fact that it's like clipping through her shirt. I want that vest. I want those pants. Yo, can I still punch? No. Let's beat her up and take her clothes. <laughs> she can have mine. I'm not going to leave her naked in a ditch sort of thing. I just want that vest. I, I have a suspicion that, um, and this guy kind of looks like a Star Trek character. I was like, when I first saw this thing, I just thought of red shirts in Star Trek. But I have a feeling that, you know, eventually they'll they'll start adding more of these uh, cosmetics. Alright, cool. So, one more mission left in the bucket, and this is a covert shutdown. So, very important. I'm going to share this mission, but what you need to understand is this is covert. So, for this one, we have to go to a place, we have to shut down the alarm. So, we have to be sneaky. So, Dark Heavy, here, easy with the science, okay? Not until it's time. <laughs> And if we, if we successfully complete this mission, it should be a power regulator for each of us. And then, uh, let me just make sure. Oh, G-Man, you have to go? No worries. But thank you for joining. Uh, let me just see here. I want to see how far away I am. Oops, no, not weapons. So do you want to upgrade my dominatrix suit? I am one power regulator away from a level 3 suit. So after this, I'll have my level 3 dominator, and then... We can do all the science in the galaxy. All right, are we ready to do this? You know what? Also, because it's stealthy, I don't want my ship getting entangled with this. I'm gonna take Apex, Welcome to Apex of just to give the taxis a little bit of, uh, just a little bit of love. I'm sorry, but I, 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 some people are like, oh, the taxis are useless. Whatever. I don't know why you would be offended by tax. If you don't like taxis, just don't take taxis. I love the taxis. It is, aside from elite feet and all that sort of stuff that comes with it, it is one of my favorite new features in the game. And I do like that now it doesn't, when you book a taxi, it doesn't default to I want to cancel my booking. Because I've done that several times where I've been like, yes, I would like a taxi. Um, actually, on second shot, I don't want a taxi. All right, do you guys have the mission shared, uh, Dark Heavy and Phil? I have it, yes. Excellent. I am uh, heading to the taxi dock. I uh, will take my crate. If you, uh, I want, I'm honestly, yeah, let me know if you've docked, and I want to see if you can actually see my taxi physically in the same instance. Like, that's something I've been very curious about, because I, I would like to know if, like, if I got in a taxi at Shinrata and open, could someone, in theory, shoot down my taxi? I can try. Well, no, 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 like. no, 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 don't try to shoot me down. I just want to know if we can instance together, but... Because um, I assume if we can instance together, you could probably shoot it down. Here, I'm boarding the uh, taxi now. No, uh, uh, taxis being shot down was a question that was raised in a uh, community manager 
stream and Arthur told me uh, categorically denied that Apex taxis could be shot down. Meh. Mm. Mm. <laughs> well, I know what I like to do when people deny. I'm coming out the mail slot by now, right now, by the way. I am behind you. Oh, so you can actually see my uh, taxi. Can I see yes. you? Oh, there you are. Yeah, yeah. Just try jostling him a little bit. See if you can uh, push him around. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's good. That's good. I felt that. Though I don't really see... I can't see his shield, so I don't know... I can damage your shield, yes. Interesting, okay. I am now very wanted here. Uh... Oh yeah, the system authorities are... <laughs> yep, yep, yep. <laughs> well, but it was for, for science. Yes, th that was that was good science testing. But like, yeah, this is great. I, I don't even have to have my hands on the keyboard and mouse. I can just enjoy this lovely, peaceful ride, not getting murdered. Now the next question would be like, can you, can you then interdict taxis? And then, is that going to be a new sport among the, the griefing community? Is like, let's hunt down an inter interdict commanders in, in very low spec taxis, right? Because it ain't that hard to kill an adder. So let's see, we're heading to Tracy Cultivation Market. Hey, we should uh, we should try out some uh, some epic stuff. I kind of want to, yeah. I mean, like that. I mean, I wonder if like. Because I don't have any uh, on my How to Die series, I do not have any, like, um, taxi-related shenanigans. So I didn't think it was possible. But now I have hope. Hope for new and, and interesting ways to rebuy. <laughs> I kind of like that, though. I, I, was, I was like, no one else has documented all the different ways that you can die in Elite. And whether or not it, 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 it gets out there a lot, or people want it, or whatever, I'm enjoying uh, <laughs> this is a sort of uh, uh, a thing that only I feel like my skill sets align very well with. <laughs> I can only see your team signal, by the way. I can't see, uh, like, I can't predict you because you're only a signal. Right. So you can see the signal, but like, if we weren't in a team, you probably wouldn't see anything. Like, not even a, a, a hollow dot or a square dot or anything. I think that's gonna be the case. Yeah. But I, I could damage your shields uh, in real space outside the station, so that could be possible. But you can't interdict attacks. Hmm, interesting. Oh no. Probably not. Because I'm just like, yeah, like if you, where do, where would people taxi to? Because I've been doing a lot of taxiing to the feed engineers when I'm just like, okay, I just want to because you can't pin their blueprints, and I suppose I could just look it up on Inra, but um, or in or whatever. Uh, but you know, so I'll just, I'll, yeah, I'll just hop in a cab, they'll take me to the engineers, I'll go do the dishes, and then when I'm all done, I'll come back and, and uh, taxi my way back. So I guess those could be interesting places to kind of stock out and wait for taxis to show up. But yeah, just like um, we were kind of doing that one with the docking computer as well, where we, you know, if you, if you sort of get yourself into an awkward spot and then request docking, your do auto, auto dock kicks in, it'll smash you into the side of the station trying to escape. It just doesn't know how to deal with weirdness. Uh, I wonder if taxis could be similarly like, like if you could kind of like a taxi lands to pick you up and then you park your crate like right above the taxi. And like, it can, is it going to try to just take off in a straight line and smack into you and will it get stuck? These are questions I need to know the answers to. Also, that is a very cool uh, looking planet. I thought I had night vision on for a second because everything has like a green tinge, but no, this planet kind of looks like um, that sort of green ice cream with the chocolate chips in it. So you know, we'll be arriving shortly. Oh, thanks. Thanks there, pal. All right, let's see here. What is the mission again? Oh yeah, this is the covert shutdown. So let's go through these steps. We land, we get level three access somehow. We disable the alarms. We can't get caught or the mission fails. And then uh, we have to somehow disable the power, which will involve also like, um, I, I guess covert doesn't mean non-violent. So we can kill people as long as they don't tell on us. That's right, yes. Okay. 
Are there non-violent covert missions? Because that, I think, might be impossible. Uh, no. Because that's why I'm like, it's either non-violent or covert, but you can't... Like, I, I, you could not do a power... Um, you could not shut down a power mission without killing someone. Uh, I don't know. Or wait, now that I think about it, you could cut off the air supply. Uh, I, think it, I think it is possible somehow. Yeah, you could probably cut out the power to the... Or cut out the uh, air supply to the power building. Okay, so this is a very small... A very small base. Hmm. I'm just landing here I, now. I've tried turning off the atmosphere to a few small bases. And the... What, two or three times I've tried doing it. All that happens is that people inside the uh, base uh, building just put on face masks and they carry on staying inside. Oh, really? So, yeah, I don't know what the chances are, but yeah. I, I assume they don't, they don't run out of batteries and oxygen over time. And <laughs> I, I didn't wait that long, to tell the truth. I thought they would just all run out of the building screaming and that whatever. Would be my but, yeah. yeah. So that doesn't really do anything. Well, maybe, maybe it's just not working as intended, right? Oh god, I thought you were a guard, and I thought you just saw me take that, and you were about to shoot me? <laughs> I don't see your name either, that's kind of weird. It just shows Maverick Suit. Your name is that yeah, Maverick Yeah, same, same for me, yeah. Again, weirdness and instancing. Little tiny bugs, but you know what? The, 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 for the most part, the bugs aren't uh, terribly game-breaking. Alright, so ideally what we're going to do is we're going to tag one of these guys, maybe Brook Booker Pina. What a name. Uh, or Maria Jose Parrish. <laughs> I'm not going to go with a researcher or administrator because they're more likely to be located inside. I don't know if you can tell from these pictures. Um, but we'll, 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 we'll stick with Booker Pina. He is a researcher. Where is he? Oh, I think he's in the power facility. That's not going to fly. Let's try someone else. There's some uh, level ones out here, uh, workers. Uh, the problems of these small bases, I, I just want to jump to level 3 if I can. That may not be possible. Um, all right, let's try the administrator. I think, well, why not go to the top? Top dog. She's probably in the control tower, but maybe not. Ideally, what you want to find is one of these workers out here uh, cultivating these like space greenhouses. Level one loot. I remember the early days of Odyssey when I would pick up all these ion batteries. Now I just don't give a shit. Okay, I got Jack Della Cruz level two access. I think we're gonna take what we can get while the getting's good because there's no one around. Oh. <laughs> I wouldn't do nothing. Hello, sir. I'm just gonna back away slowly. And then we're gonna resume doing it all over again. Gotcha. Profile Your profile is mine. I am Jack De La Cruz. No, I am. <laughs> All right, well. I let's... am Jack De La Cruz. Oh, that is a guard. I thought that was Dark Heavy for a second. Kent Christian Sharpshooter. Um, now, this administrator. Okay. I think they're in here. Now these domes sometimes are just a little bit too high to get a proper scan. Let's see if we can... Oh! And she sees me. I'm just the roof inspector, ma'am. How about you? Oh! Dola Kelly! This one I should be able to get. Here we go. Here's our level 3 access. Security profile closed. Lovely. Okay. I'm so glad that first guy didn't catch me in the act because I thought we were I thought we were done donezo there. Okay, so before we do power, we need to disable security. Of course, this is one of those smaller bases where security could be in the hab for all we know. I think actually what we're gonna do we're gonna play it safe, head back to the computer, and our lovely computer over there will let us know where those panels are. I used to be Jack Dela Cruz, but now I got promoted. Okay, there's a guard over there. Do not let him scan. Okay, we're just come around this side, be sneaky. So much parkour. Ow. 
Just smacked into a light post. Okay. So, now what we are looking for is the alarms. As you can see, it's kind of like there is no obvious security center, right? So, is it in the hab? No. Is it in agricultural? No. No? So then it must be in the power center. Yep. The settlement alarms console, right in there in the power plant. Well, that's kind of convenient. Oh my god, you were inside that ammo box. Go do that again. How did you get inside that? Yep. Yeah. Oh yes, my. Crutch. <laughs> it's actually killing my frames for a second. Apparently, the um, you're crossing the dimensional barrier, and I do love these. Like, it does look like um, mint chocolate chip ice cream. These this little hill. I just want to lick it. So delicious. All right, so we just have to get into power. We're doing good. We're doing good. Uh, okay, so we got two guards to deal with here. Sterling Brooker and Maria Wilson. Also uh, one to the right. What? What? Jay Daniel to the right. Oh, oh, I didn't even see him. Okay, I think what we're going to do is we're going to cross this uh, little archway here. Also one in front. Yeah, Sterling's right in front of the hab. Uh, we're going to just jump to the back of the hab. Spearing on jetpack because they can hear that jetpack. Cross over to the side of the roof. Crouch down. No one can see me. There's Dark Heavy 8 majestically uh, floating through the air. Maria Wilson was remotely interested in that and then quickly lost interest. And I think we, we, we have a window. We have a window. Let's go. Oh no, I'm stuck on the clipping. No, 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 no. Okay, get in there. Oh, uh, but don't cross the restricted area. Everyone in the airlock. Where are you, Phil? I'm here. Oh, you're here. Where's Dark Heavy? Dark Heavy. Oh, no, 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 no. He's coming this way. He's coming this way. Okay, so... My thought is, okay, we could just start shooting... Oh god, you're being scanned, you're being scanned. Clear profile, clear profile. Okay, while he's okay. occupied. Okay, here's my thought, is if I can get in there, and then just run to the alarm panel. Please don't look at me. Uh, you, I mean, you could kill uh, the worker in there, as long as no guards see you. The problem is he keeps looking at me. Um, like, I don't feel like I can get into the... And now I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place. Like, this guard's just standing there. Can you, like... Yeah, Dark Heavy, can you, like, lure that guard away? Throw a rock. I I'll, wish that I'll we could do it, that. I'll give him my come-to-bed eyes. Okay. <laughs> uh, he, he actually responded to that. He is coming at you, just so you know. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna try to just, like... See, maybe I can sneak in. Okay, we're going, we're going. It's it's go time. Yeah, you're all right on the outside. The so guard is... alarms are down. The, this guard is looking suspicious. He's coming in now. Uh, we're shooting at him. Uh-oh. Yeah, it is go time. Uh, we, we should be good to kill people. Reactor's coming down. Just start shooting. Start the shooting. Pew pews. Pew pews. Oh no, that's you. Okay, we should be okay. Power's coming down. This is actually going quite smoothly. And apparently, I now get trespass bounties. Oh wait, oh, because this guy caught me over here. Damn you. Are we a Wilson? I didn't want to kill you. You left me no choice. By the way, are there any lovely data pads in here that I can get, like... I'm going to take authorization scans off the table. We don't need no stinking scans. I gotta say, this, uh... I did not expect that. I, th I thought for sure this was going to be like, yeah, we're going to fail this mission. Ooh, ionized gas! Ooh, that makes me feel good. 
Although it's just like, do you think that ionized gas, because it doesn't say what type of gas, like is this hydrogen, is this helium? Is it someone's fart that has been ionized? Oh, g finds like, is this supposed to be covert? It is covert. We disabled the alarms and now we are free to murder people. Um, yes. <laughs> it's covert-ish. I mean, as long as there's no one that lives to tell the tale, then I think we're, we're you know, we're okay. Okay, reactor's about halfway done. I'm going to preemptively overload this door. Uh, just to make sure I can exit after. Uh oh, I see boom booms. Is Dark Heavy up above doing air support? Or was that a no, we're, we're both uh, down here on, on foot. Was that a grenade then? What was that boom boom? Uh, I, I shot a barrel. It, it's fun. Yeah, weren't you saying about how red barrel shooting is fun? I just jumped on myself and yeah, I can confirm it is fun. Oh, hello. Oh, I thought that was a sniper. Okay, okay. <laughs> I was like, oh, it's Phil. Uh, there is uh, a worker over there who seems to be pointed in the wrong direction. Let's try a grenade. I would feel bad if, if, uh, if I cared. This facility did something to get on the mission board, so I'm, I'm assuming that someone somewhere really screwed up, and uh, this is karma. We are just, we are karma for uh, whatever these people did that was horrible. And I do love this effect as the reactor opens, and you get the steam, steam vents. Nice power washing. Just get some dry shampoo, and uh, this could be considered hygiene. And lights out. Power regulator away. Okay. And everyone has the um, mission, right? Because I think, like, it's not technically completed, so I wonder if, like, this would still be a shareable... No, the share button's gone. Okay, so nobody get a mob adder. All right? Yeah, I got, I got objectives. The current one is uh, ensure the contract holder leaves the area. That's you. Oh, wow. So it actually says for you, ensure the contract holder leaves the area. Interesting. Yep. Okay, that's a nice touch. Um, I was just so about to be like... that means I shouldn't kill Spatula. Is that right? Don't. Is that, is that a challenge? Don't. Don't do it. You can only kill me if you can find me. <laughs> You'll never find me here. Um, I was just like, where's my ship? Where's my ship? And then I realized I taxied here. So I must taxi <laughs> back. Oh, you can always come on board my ship. No, I am not. Don't play, do it. I'm not fucking around with that <laughs> that blue tunnel ship. Instancing right can't share mission if you get disconnected. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. I'm like, yeah, that is exactly how we. Because uh, I want you people to also get your power regulator from this mission, so that you too can upgrade your suits to maximum swagger. Oh damn it! You took my spot. That's it. <laughs> ah! You're slippery. Your face is slippery. That's what they all say. It was, it was designed that way. They don't want you standing on faces in this universe. Hold on. Oh, let's try a random code. One, two, three, four. I wish that someone discovered that like one, two, three, four literally works on every one of these canisters as a bug. And then no one tells Frontier. Here comes my taxi. And actually I didn't, um, you can, uh, the taxis will land on you if you are standing um, under the landing gear. That is confirmed. <laughs> Once they get into that descent mode, they, do, they just, they don't care. Like I could just get myself crushed there. All right, all aboard and heading back. This is the last mission in the list. Then we can upgrade Dominator. And then, I don't know, what do you guys want to do? Do you want to just, like, find the biggest, most well-guarded facility that we can, set the alarms off and just go to town? Try to get some of that combat destructor rank, mercenary rank up? Yeah, sure. But first I want to see if I can kill uh, an, an Apex. Okay. We'll ta I'll take a taxi to the location and then you can try to kill me. Just for science. I would want to know, like, what happens with the rebuy screen on that, right? Does it just, like, respawn me in a new taxi? 
Does it respawn me in my destination, my origin point? Where, 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 where does it, how does this work? How Back to base, work? probably. I would assume so, but then do I get refunded for my taxi? Because it's not the passenger's fault the taxi driver couldn't evade another commander, right? These are these are the these are the these are the these are the real questions people should be asking on the forum. Not the fifty-seven thousands post about when are we getting ship interiors? Like we're obviously not right now. <laughs> but every time I see like a frontier stream, it's like the first thing they ask them: when are we getting for ship interiors? It's like, well, do you think that like that? Oh, they're like, you know what? This is the seventeen thousand time that someone's answered that question. Um, they're due for November. <laughs> you mean ship interiors? Yeah, I I <laughs> I want SRV interiors. That's what I want. I want to see what's in that little tiny compartment back there. I want to go inside the cargo bay, and just chill with my cargo. That's my dream. Don't shit on my dream. <laughs> One thing I do like cargo. about text. Sorry. Car cargo cuddling. It's the way forward. I like that. Just I want to spoon with um, one ton of. Uh, uh, I was like searching for any. I don't want to say bio waste because that does feel a little weird to be the big spoon and bio waste is the little spoon. I was like uh, ruthenium, uh, but I'm like no, that's not. That's not cargo. That's material. This is my other question: Is where the heck do they store the materials on the ship? I imagine there's like a room full of like little um sort of like like almost like security deposit drawers or like little ziploc containers and that's why we have like individual material limits because you can't put the manganese into the container with the iron you know they got their own ziploc containers so if they were going to do ship interiors you know i would love to see a little materials room that you go in and see, like see all your materials that'd be cool but no, no, that would be a waste of time. Everyone would hate it, right? Yes. Yeah, sure. There would be no <laughs> call for that kind of gameplay or interactive immersion at all. I can't see it happening <coughs> myself, really. I don't know, man. I really, I think Ship Interiors is definitely on my list. Like, I think it's kind of funny because for years and years and years, the mantra has been, give us space legs. When are we getting space legs? We want space legs. Now we have space legs, and for the next however long it takes, people will not let up about ship interiors. You're not getting away from this frontier. You will have to do them at some point just to get people to shut up. Even if it's one room, even if it's just a cockpit, you gotta do something. Otherwise, you will hear that for years and years to come. They will never let it go like they never let space legs go. Mark my words. Mm -hmm. People play anyway. Yeah, oh, to oh, tell yeah. the truth, I think they designed the whole thing the wrong way round, which was the commanders are always going to be in the ship, then take it back to the cargo hold or the whatever it might be. Uh, that's going to be the next gameplay. That's going to be the next loop. The next thing, get out of your ship and be on an SRV. The next thing, get out of your ship and walk around on foot on the planet. Do so you think they should have done like it, they should have done interiors before horizons? Oh, definitely, definitely. See, I would I would say though the thing is like to do the ship interiors you would need the space legs otherwise they're just there, right? So that's where I'm like, okay. I mean, they could do probably like a zero G thing. But I, I kind of agree with you though, where. Um, I would rather explore my ship than walk around on a planet. Um, I know it, there's not much gameplay with it, but I, I love the feeling. And uh, if done properly, I think it can add gameplay, right? They say like, oh, there's no gameplay to it. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, just walking back and forth from your ship, that's not gameplay. But what if it was like, okay, there's a room in your ship that's your bedroom and that's where you can put your trophies and put your little posters up and just customize it, right? Maybe that's the only area of the ship that you can customize. Maybe d decor in your bedroom, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, You've yeah. got your SRV hangar, and that's where you enter and exit the ship for the most part. Cool. Then you've got, like, let's say, like, a little science room where you can 
do your own material trading or like, you know, combine this element and that element to create a new material. Like a little lab on your ship that you only have on your ship, right? That would be super cool. Um, let's say there's another area where, you know, there's a codex room with a galaxy map where you can plot your destinations, right? Yeah, you could just go to the cockpit and hit M, but let's say you did your little science lab, you know what material you want, then you pop over to the codex room. Okay, I'm going to go to this room. Maybe that room has extra functions, like launching a probe to a system to at least get to see the system map without having to visit it. Stuff like that, right? There's no reason that, that they can't come up with gameplay for ship interiors. Uh, to me, that's just kind of an excuse. Yep. yep. Anyway, I don't know. What do you think? Am I crazy? Yeah, I think you're crazy, but I also think you're right. I was really hoping that the answer would be, like, the two are not mutually exclusive. <laughs> uh, I'm one of the people who don't really want cheap materials. I don't think it uh, will add much in gameplay and stuff. I think it's a nice thing to look at, but then you're not going to go there anymore. Uh, that's just my... I, I think I'm a minority in having this opinion. Yeah, you know what? But it's like, I, I could see both ways. It's just more... I, it, <sighs> To me, it's like, okay, like, if you play No Man's Sky and, like, what you can do on the, on the carriers, um, which you can, like, build out rooms. If, oh, my God. Oh, I was... Oh, sorry. I went on the upgrade screen. I was like, this this station has a grade 4 Maverick suit and a grade 2 Artemis and another... No, it's just my own inventory. Yeah, that's me. Look at all these suits I have. And there's, like, I got my Maverick up to grade 4, which I'm super proud of. Uh, I have another Maverick at grade 3, a Dominator at 2. I hate that my flight suit is stuck at one, and you can't upgrade it. Like, if it is the highest grade reached, why not put it to five? So it doesn't look like dumpy. Anyway. <laughs> All right, we are upgrading the Dominator. And holy shit, I have six power regulators. I got an extra one in that process. Lovely. And there we have it. A level uh, three Dominator with 22.5 shield strength and... I don't know what these numbers mean, really. I have no context for them yet. But it is good. It is progress. Now I don't have a single suit that isn't at least level 3 or higher. Well, I, I do have them. I just don't use them. And also, here's another thing. It's like, okay, I have two Artemis suits here. Both are level 2. Both have the exact same specs. But one of them is 243,000 credit, uh, 243, credits to sell. The other one is 270,000. Why? Theories? Did you upgrade one of them? They're the same like level and the, like the same specs, same modifications. Yeah, but did did you upgrade one to? Did 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 one of them start at lower? I think one of them I bought and one of them I might have upgraded potentially. Then maybe that's the, the reason. I was thinking maybe it was like I bought one at like a Leron U system with like a 10% discount kind of thing. Maybe. I'm going to sell the more expensive one just to clear this out because I really don't need to. There we go. Cleaning up the inventory. So yeah, I've got two Artemis suits, two Maverick suits, and only one Dominator. But that's all you need. Wonderful. And let's just see. Can we upgrade any weapons? Or should we upgrade any weapons? Um... I'm gonna get rid of this actually. I don't need two of these. So yeah, a lot of these, yeah, ionized gas, I need to upgrade my uh, uh, shotguns, my plasma weapons. And yeah, ionized gas tends to be in a lot of these upgrades. Uh, I could, if I had a little bit more tungsten carboid and weapon components, I could upgrade um, some of my kinetic weapons. Or my rocket launcher. And I probably could just trade my way with the bartenders to get these. Let's actually do that. Oh, it's so sad that you can't buy a drink here. Mm, yes, I agree. It's just like the little things, right? Um, okay, so we need tungsten carboy, we need weapon components. We just need one of these and probably three of these. Oof. Well, the, okay, another thing that, that grinds my gears is how you can only trade within the same... You can only trade, first of all, the physical trade assets, but then they're, they're broken down into three areas, and you can only trade within those three areas. 
So like for me to get weapon components, I can't trade ion batteries from the other category, which is kind of lame. But fine, uh, we just need three. So that should do it. And then we also need tongues and carbide. We only need one of these. But maybe we'll take two. There we go. Lovely. Interesting choice. Anything else I can help? You can help me with a drink, how about oh never mind. Let's not beat that dead horse. What if you shall just heard the Yamex gong in my head. Uh, okay, and what can we now upgrade, my friend? So, hmm. I think I kind of want to upgrade this AR uh, thingy only because it has audio masking. It's my kind of de facto. Like, that'll take the damage up from 1.2 to 1.6, which seems pretty significant. Um, yeah, why not? I'm going to upgrade everything eventually, so. Yeah, there you go. Now all these damn zeros but the important thing is that i find if you're trying to upgrade everything at once that's a mistake why because you have inventory caps you should be upgrading things as you go whatever you can upgrade because then you're clearing inventory space so that you can grind more i know it sounds painful but it's just what it is of course things like ionized gas you cannot trade from the bartender like i don't know maybe they added that but let's just go see uh, looking to make a trade yeah, no ionized gas. So things like that, power regulators, there are just items you can't um, trade, which kind of, I don't know, it's like, are they gonna add like a second type of bartender at one point that will be able to uh, trade those other materials? Just like they have like human tech brokers and guardian tech brokers and Thargoid tech brokers and, well, I think that's about the extent of it. Interested in the job? I'm looking for the right Nice mustache. All right, well, tell you what. Um, we're already wanted in this system, aren't we? It's possible. I'm going to go to the hangar. Uh, because you didn't fart in the expensive part of a suit. <clears throat> Maybe because I did, and that's why it's selling for less, right? We don't want this shit. It's been farted in. The bio waste regulator is just all all mixed up. What have you done? Okay, so just gonna get in the ship so I can be comfy and see the maps. And yeah, we're gonna go. We're gonna end this stream after this next little uh, endeavor. Um, so let's end it on a bang. Uh, okay. So we're gonna pop in here. And one thing I did notice from the frontier stream was that yeah, on this section it should have added little plus signs to these locations so that you know it's bigger of course it does not seem to be the case so did they remove that huh yeah it's not there well give why do this or maybe there's just nothing in this system that's big enough to get a plusy thing interesting um, okay, well, one more check. Let me just check. Uh, nearby systems, what we're going to do is we're going to... Uh, where the hell did they put it now? Route settings. I want to look at population. Okay. Let's put a filter on. Let's try and look for some highly populated systems. Because, well, I guess this is the this is the big one. Because, yeah, 87 million, and it's not like... Uh, Huge, but uh, hold on, let's see if we can go even more extreme. Give me only top pops. Guraburu. 7.8 billion people. Interesting. It's only one jump away from me. Do you guys want to head to Guraburu? Do some. Uh, yes. Yeah, why not? Uh, I could take a taxi there and you can try to shoot me down. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, let's do that. You can check the ship na 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 navig navigation. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Givine's saying you can check the ship navigation panel for the pluses. But wait, you can't see them on the map, or that was is that like just broken? Oh, so you can. Okay. Because really, what I'm looking for is ideally high security and many pluses. 
I feel like we'll have a better chance of finding that in a higher population system. So no, let's 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 head to Gurdabrewer, and we will go there by a taxi. And um, while we're in our vulnerable taxi, Phil is going to try uh, to blow me up, and I may consider filming this. And if it works, it will be added to the out of die series. <laughs> Okay. Apex, where you at? Always up here on the concourse. And you know, I uh, I wish there were just a few more layouts. Just a few. And not to be crazy. Uh, oh boy, what the hell was the name of that system again? It was Guru... Uh, Guru -ra -ra? No, hold on, okay, fine, I'll do the name population filter again. Interesting. Population filter does not seem to be working. In Apex. Uh, I was like hoping that maybe the stream delay was like that severe that I could actually go back and find it. Huh, so I guess is population filter not working? Or maybe I've got like Okay, map mode, whatever, population range, yes. Okay, let me try moving it one down. I guess you can only go from there to there. Um, okay, so I do see some systems. Come on, give me one of the biggies. That system was like 8.7 billion. Okay. I see how it is. As soon as you're in a taxi, you don't want to... The taxis are regulating populations across the bubble. They do not want us to head to very populated systems because the traffic there sucks. And then it, it maybe wastes time for them. Whatever. Weird bugs. Okay, we'll just find another place. Okay, how big is this place, first of all? 7.4 billion. Okay, we're going to Brexta. We're going to break stuff. <laughs> we're going to break stuff in Brexta. <laughs> that works. It might be a few more jumps for you guys. Is that like Brexit, but different? Yes. It is It is uh, very Brexity. Oh, and hold on, we can just go right to a point of interest here, so maybe I could find... Eh, it's not... Oh wait, oh, I would look at these guys. Yeah, this is also not showing me the severity and... Because what I'd really like to know is like, hey, is this place... Um... Hold on. Well, first of all, how far away are these planets? Oh, 2000 isn't bad. Okay, fine. I'm just going to go to uh, Popper Dock. And we'll have a drop point there. That's perfect. I've confirmed your flight. All right. I'm going to head to the dock. Phil, are you ready to uh, attempt to destroy my taxi? Yes, sir. If you want to destroy my taxi. All right. Heading into the elevator. This is probably going to add to our uh, crime spree, but, you know... Um, I'm cool with that. Okay. I am waiting to get on. Are you ready, sir? Yes. Okay, let me take off the frame for a second. Uh, actually, let me just record the whole damn thing. I'll start from... I may have to leave station because I only have 30 seconds left. Okay. And board. I am coming. Alrighty. I like this guy's goatee. Got a nice goatee. Also a very shiny sweater. How do you get your sweater so shiny, Shah? Is there special taxi driver secrets? Alright, we are undocking. We'll be in the mail slot right. shortly. A lovely, 
love the experience this is. You're quite a good driver, sir. I haven't even spilled a drop of my coffee. Is that a cup holder he's got? It does look like a cup holder. Do I have a cup holder? Am I? Oh, there we go. Yeah, I do have a cup holder. Oh, you're, nice cup. You're still inside? Uh, nope, just coming through the mail slot right now. Yeah, yeah I, I see you. I am deploying. Deploying? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um, uh, fly, fly, you fool, fly! To the hills, oh no! I'm dying in a taxi! What kind of world is this? And wow, that's a lot of lasers. How are you not I, I died too, yeah. I was gonna say, I'm like, there's no way that the station let you get away with that. Strong shields. That was wonderful, awesome. That is going in the How to Die series. I guess what would that, what would the title of that be like? Yeah, Jurisdiction, Serious Special Forces. The people that hate me and want to kill me, you killed me and you have a bounty for some reason. Like, I guess because the taxi driver was innocent. Oh, and then it's going to throw me over to a detention facility. That might actually shorten the journey. That could actually be a good thing. Of course, uh, now I have to take a taxi. Oh, loot. No, no worries, dude. dude. Yeah, if you need to drop off, don't feel like you got to make it to the end of the stream, dude. You do you. you. If, if it's too late and it's uh, time to sleep, pass out, watch the rest tomorrow. Or don't. I don't know. It's all good, man. I appreciate you being here. But, uh, yeah, we will um, probably wrap when we get to the station. I just want to cause a little bit of chaos somewhere. Uh, oh, wait. I'm going to do the population filter again. What was that system that I found? It was called... Breck, 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 Sta, Breck Sta, Okay, there we go. Wait, with the oh. next? Uh, no. Uh, it is. I confirmed your flight. Uh, Have a good trip. B e b r e k, Sta. Ah, uh, I got it. Yeah. Well, that's cool. I didn't know that taxis could get shot down like that, but I love it. That's that is um. A nice little bit of immersion that like taxis aren't like unnecessarily invulnerable right though it kind of sucks that like because i had a crime i went to a detention facility like the taxi driver and it, and it kind of flies in the face of what the community managers said earlier which is what i repeated earlier which is no Apex. you can't shoot down taxis so well, did, did they say that you can't shoot them down or you can't interdict them? Because maybe maybe they are right in that sense. But if they did say you can't shoot them down, well, yeah, good point. Good point. I mean, I I, I feel like I got to be careful on who sees this now because people, people. I mean, are you, you get honesty. Issues. You get proof now, so. Yeah, I've seen a lot of like, uh, oh god, I was watching a little bit of Elite Week last night, and it's just, uh, and Kaizen at one point was, you know, just like honest arf, honest arf. You know, and it's like, if this is another thing that they've said, and I don't think they're intentionally lying. I don't think anyone on that team is in any way malicious. I think they're they're under a lot of pressure. They're getting maybe too much into defensive mode is my one criticism. With the, with the one exception, I will say, of Sally, who is an amazing community manager. Her responses are bang on. She's clearly uh, uh, passionate and, and in love with the game and going above and beyond. Uh, the other ones sometimes I think get a little too defensive, right? And it's like, fair enough, they're under attack, but um, oftentimes I think it's just, it, it's communication full pause. The developers say, yeah, this is the case. They're the mouthpiece. Don't shoot the messenger, right? But uh, man, those, I've seen those poor community managers get slaughtered by the comments in, in like Twitch streams and whatever. And you know, you feel bad, but they get, they get paid. They get paid to do it your job to basically go out there and get pooped on by a bunch of angry angry gamers and um you know it's not a not 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 uh probably the greatest job in the world but you still get to work on elite day degas and that's kind of cool that, that's that's a neat job that's a neat little thing to put on your resume right i certainly wouldn't want to be a community manager <laughs> yeah no me neither no thanks. For sure. For sure, they have a a difficult job of herding us cats. Oh yeah, and cats we herding or hurting. Well, maybe both. Maybe a little <laughs> bit of both. 
It's, it's like, I will see that they, they, they do get the odd bit where they get defensive and they have to respond to something. And it's like, you don't need to respond to everyone. And the people that are just bitter and calling you names or making accusations, just, just leave it, right? Like, the rest of us know that people are just mad because they wanted feature X or their expectations were here. And some of it is like, I do believe that Frontier Marketing has some issues, right? Um, there definitely are what I would call like, you know, it's, it's like, like they're not setting the right expectations and there are so many more things they could be doing to communicate and not be kind of like, they always seem to be like, yo, like, I know things are bad right now, but just wait in a month, we're going to like do something awesome. And then a month comes and it's like underwhelming. And then they're like, well, just wait another month and like, we'll do something awesome then. It's like, well, what are you doing? That's awesome. We can't say. We can't say we don't have permission. It's like if I were a community manager there, I'd be like, fuck permission. I'd be like, listen, they're working on this shit. <laughs> Let the fucking fire burn. <laughs> Which is why I'm not a community manager. But yeah, I think it's like the, it's like balance. It's hard to like set expectations without overhyping, right? Yeah, it's a tough, tough cookie. I don't know what to, what the answer is, what to do. Um. It's easy to just it's easy to just say that people just suck. <laughs> yeah. People do suck. I mean, here's the thing, like like there's the expectations of the game versus reality. Then there's like the criticism over the way the company runs, which to be fair, I don't think a lot of people have uh, knowledge on how the company runs, so that's something I try not to criticize. And then there's the actual like how are you experiencing the game? Right? And if I look at like, hey, how am I experiencing this game? I'm having a lot of fun. You know, I, I, I honestly may not be everything that I wanted, but um, I am enjoying what we do have. Um, if I look at how the company is run, there's a lot of big question marks that start swirling through my head. But who out there works for a company that isn't a shit show, right? Every company I've ever worked at has in some way or another had some, you know, screws loose or some craziness going on. Um, and if I look at expectations, the reason that I think I'm enjoying this game as much as I am right now is because mine were so low. <laughs> my expectations were uh, pretty much set appropriately, in my opinion. Because um, I, I went through Horizons, I went through Beyond. I know what this kind of stuff looks like. They're going to release it. It's going to be glitchy. Um, after a few months, they're going to stabilize it. Then they're going to start puppering in some new features. When those new features start coming in, they'll also be broken at launch as well. Out of the five or six new features that they add, four of them will continue to be glitchy for the rest of your life. But two or three of them will make it to the next level. That's just how this company has seemed to be uh, doing development, right? Whether it's, whether it's wrong or right, I don't know. All I know is I've been playing this game for, what, five years, and I'm still playing it, right? I was struggling. Yeah, I'm... I was struggling before Odyssey to like want to play it, and now I can't stop. I can't get enough. I think I'm at about four thousand four hundred hours now. Holy! Wow. Which is okay. which is uh, something, but some people have nine thousand hours, and that's crazy. Yeah, I mean, I I still don't know whether Steam logs when you have the launcher open, because I know that when when you have the launcher open, it says you're playing Elite Dangerous, uh, at least in like Discord or something. But. Who knows? I mean, I'm, I'm definitely... Let me see, what do I have in terms of Steam hours? Because keep in mind, I was in this game before it was even in Steam. So... Uh, and I have a second account. But... I am at... Uh, 2,700 hours. It's not quite where you are, Phil, but, you know, that's, no, that's not Chalk's play. You also have a lot of invisible hours from before Steam. True. Though I can't remember when it came on Steam. I want to say it was pretty soon after I bought the game. Couldn't have been that long. Alright, I'm landing here at Popper Dock. And oh my god. My taxi... Okay, so apparently the last taxi driver that died uh, came back as a ghost because this guy's suit was white for a second there. He looked like, he looked like a pale white ghost. Okay. It's actually interestingly enough, I wonder if uh, there will be any goodies in the shop. 
Uh, this is the this is the new thing in Elite now is whenever you dock at an outpost, go to Pioneer, look at menu, see for good stuff, take good stuff, because it will be gone. And it seems like every Thursday when they make an update, um, that's when the sort of uh, free loot uh, resets itself. Love these little outposts. These are quite cool. All right, what you got for me, buddy? Guns will let you down. Uh, there is a level two rocket launcher with no mods. I already have one of those. I don't need a new one. And under suits? No, just level one suits. Mildly disappointing, but no big deal. Okay, so what did I want to do here? Oh shoot, I wanted to do it while I was still on the damn ship. Um, is there another way to do this? Navigation. System map. Or actually, when you guys get in the system, maybe you can help with that. But what I want to do is just find the biggest facility that we can here. And we're just going to go down and just start fucking shit up. Just literally ruining people's days. For no reason. For no good reason. Oh, okay. There's a, a, there are a experiment. A what? Oh, a scientific. scientific. Scientific experiment, for sure. In a way, yes. Okay, so the, the facilities have threat levels. So this is a threat level three. Let's see how, uh, what the maximum threat level would be. And that's where we're gonna go. Because threat equals dangus. Dangusness. Threat level two. Threat level three again. That one can't be selected. What are they hiding? Oh, wait, never mind. Nothing. Okay. It looks like it might be threat level three. Do I really have to do that? Threat level three, is that... Do we know if that's the maximum? I have no idea. Are you checking emissions? No, for like facilities. Okay, tell you what. There's a military settlement with a military economy threat level three. Lagarde garrison. I think that's going to be where we're going. Oh, I probably can't set a damn target because I'm just on my feet. Okay. To Apex. And is this a purely on foot uh, operation or are we using missiles with ships? I think, however, you, we're, we're in Brexta here to break stuff. And I don't think when it comes to breaking stuff, there are any rules. I say okay, it's, well, I'm about perfect. four jumps out. Okay, I'm going to head to the, the, the place that you guys have a, a signal to come in on. Uh, that will be easier for your navigation. And ideally, what I'd like to do is set off the alarms and have them bring in reinforcements so it's a never ending stream of combat until we die. <laughs> Though I don't think that's how actual reality works. I have been at bases where they've um, sent in reinforcements, but I'm not sure what it takes to uh, trigger them. And then when we die, that will be where I will call the stream. And then I gotta get my own dinner sorted because I'm trying to get hungry working on some scripts but yeah tomorrow i will be filming the last scene needed for um my next dangus video i am so freaking excited for this one i literally i, I know i probably say this about every every entry in the series i i think this next one's gonna be the best one hands down hands down i am so excited to share that one out it's got everything everything you could ever want and I'm probably going to be getting a copyright claim for it. I'm willing to take it at this point. It is, it's is—it's one of those things where I actually uploaded a scene. I'm not going to spoil anything, but I uploaded a scene to see if I would get a copyright story for it. It gave me not a copyright strike, but a claim, which means, okay, your account's fine. Everyone can see it in the world, but someone else will make money off it. Cool. I don't actually, I'm not even monetized on YouTube, so I don't give a shit. Um, and I'm like, cool, as long as it's a claim and not a strike, we move forward. I'm so happy. I will take the claim at this point because it is 100% worth it for what I'm doing. 
Yeah, 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 I mean, people use Patreon now, right? Yeah, and and, I, and look, thank you guys for supporting me on that. That does help motivate me. But it's like, yeah, look, look even whether YouTube was monetized or not, when it was monetized, before they demonetized me, I think in like six years, I made like less than a hundred bucks, and they don't pay you anything until it hits a hundred. So <laughs> legit, I've never got paid a cent for any videos I've ever done. But that's not why I do them. You know, I do them because uh, I don't know. I'm bored. <laughs> because you're dangus. That's it, right? I, I do it because, <clears throat> I don't know, it's some sort of cathartic relationship between me and this game now where it's like, I do the videos to play the game, I play the game to do the videos, and they each keep me coming back for more. It's part of my, like, gameplay loop. It's basically like, I was sick of grinding um, the way that Frontier wanted me to grind, so I invented my own grind on top of the grind. Where now, I play the game and then edit for like 200 hours <laughs> to release the episode to make nothing and get no materials just to honor the grind to keep the grind going outside of the game but yeah no, and, and, and hey I uh, appreciate the Patreons and, and you guys have been great and, and we hang out in the Discord now and it's like a little community so it's awesome but I don't know you know I, even uh, videos sometimes go out and they don't get that many views but it doesn't really it doesn't bother me you know, it would it would bother me if I had goals. <laughs> like Yamex, for example, I think he's like a like whatever you think of his content, he's a super professional when he approaches it. He sets goals for himself. He's like, I want to hit this many subscribers by this time frame, and I'm going to do that by doing like weekly videos, like incredibly professional um, uh, methodology that he has. Um, and I am the complete opposite, where I'm like I I. Uh, I don't know uh, what I want to do beyond like the next video or the next series or the next story, right? But that's how I uh, that's how I started, right? I don't want to change that. I think if I attach goals to it and become more professional, then I lose what uh, makes it unique. Thank you for coming. And it, and it, it become it becomes work too. Well, that's, that's the key, right? The, to me, this is my hobby. This is what I enjoy doing. As soon as you start making it like, oh yeah, I gotta do this, I gotta get to this thing, then those numbers become frustrating. Then it feels like work. Then each video is a slog, right? It's like, you can't do comedy like that, right? I mean, I guess you can. I'm sure that you can. Maybe just I can't, I don't know. <laughs> it might be just my own inability. Um. See, weirdly enough, yeah, this is threat three, but it's a plus. So I guess, like, the pluses relate to the size of the facility. The security relates to the threat. Or something. I don't know. But We're there isn't... going to die. Well, yeah, it's just about how you're going to die. That's the only question, right? Spectacularly. <laughs> well said. Oh, shoot, I forgot to change my damn suit. What suit do I have? Oh no, it's the damn Maverick suit. Uh, can't you go in my ship and change suits? Oh, perhaps I can. Perhaps I can. Where are I'm you? just are uh, you, are you five just kilometers landing? above you, so I'm just uh, coming in for landing now. Okay, I'm going to scout out the facility, and when you land, I will see if I can just come in your suit. Like, hey, can I just go in your car and change my pants? <laughs> okay, we got like a commando with four stripes here. That's good. Oh, we got a Goliath. Nice pink terrain. And yeah, it's a military style facility. I don't go to too many of these. But it looks like a nice nice, you know, not not, not the biggest base I've ever seen, but it's up there. I have landed. Okay, where are you at? Where are you at? I got my lights on. I see you. I'm about 1,500 light seconds out, coming in hot. All right, don't worry, we'll wait for you before we start the fireworks here. I was going to say, what's the plan here? We don't have a mission, but we're just going to take on a full military base, high spec, and we're going to kill everyone? Is that it? Yes. Well, I mean, I don't think it's going to, I don't think it's going to, like, uh, end up that way. I think we're going to die, but, um, well, I think, okay, these are the requirements. We have to set off the alarm, and ideally I want them to call in reinforcements so that we can kill more than just the people that are here. 
That sounds like a plan. Other than that, we, there are no rules. <laughs> we can do the uh, the infamous uh, sphere of combat. One SRV, one ship, one on foot. Oh, true that. Love that. Love that. <laughs> okay, so uh, uh, can you just like look away while I change my pants? Just, Maybe. Just, just look out the front. <laughs> I think it is. That's cool that I could just jump in your chute and change my gear. Yeah, and I think the Dominator and is also, full plasma. That's good. The the lore explanation of that is also interesting. How come all your clothes are everywhere? Well, that's the thing. Is like literally like you must have a backpack in your suit for all your suits, and that's why you can only carry so many materials. Because it's because your backpack's already full of all your other suits. <laughs> Or maybe you only have one suit, and it's like uh, Tony Stark Iron Man armor, right? And it just sort of changes depending on uh, what the software says it to do. So who's going to be on, on foot, and who's, who's going to be in the ship, and who's going to be on the SRV? I want to be on foot. I like All running right. around. I think the H likes the uh, ships. Yeah, I'll go for that. Hey, weird, you can't now aim down a shotgun barrel. Did they change that? Don't know. Don't use yeah. it. That's weird, you can't now aim down your shotgun sights. They must have removed that functionality. Ooh, my, I, I'm, I'm salivating a little bit. I'm excited to just be a, a terrible person here. This, this is like literally just going in and slaughtering a bunch of innocent people because I want to have fun. Like... <laughs> This is serial killer, sociopath kind of territory, you know? Okay, I'm gonna get up in this. Five, five, up five, in... five. <laughs> Coming in for orbital cruise. Nice. And I'm in the SRV, I'm in the purple one. Was that Just like one of the. Spatula. Was that the, the purple skins? Was that from the, the Twitch drops that Frontier were doing? Yeah. Yeah, because I, I like that skin because you get it on literally everything. You can make everything purple. And I'm like, I wish more skins were like that, not so kind of hodgepodge. Which is like, yeah, like you buy this like purple skin, you can wear that on a keelback, on a cobra, on an anaconda, like. But I guess arcs, they gotta make arcs, you know. Arcs ain't gonna buy themselves. All right, so where are you, Derek? Have you are you close? I thought that was your ship, but no, that's a Goliath. Five kilometers out, closing. Okay, well, eventually, I start, when you drop out of... Um... Oh, wait, I think that's... That might be you. Yeah, that's him. We should take out that Goliath uh, pretty soon. I guess that's our job. The big guns. Yeah, I think the first step will be... Um... To just get the alarms going off. So we'll want someone to be alerted. Are you guys ready? Uh, yeah, I am ready. Is that your landing gear on? Yep. I see. It keeps the ship more stable when it's hovering like this. And I'm no ready. accidental boosting. That's true. That's actually not a bad tactic. The landing gear kind of like slows you down and gives you a little more control. Okay, uh, I'm gonna shoot this Goliath. Oh, I missed. Damn it. I missed again. Oh god, oh god, I'm already being attacked. Alright, alarms are off, excellent. Alright. Now, it's just a question of kill or be killed! Oh my god. Oh, oh, this guy's serious. Peekaboo! A deadly game of Peekaboo was played that day. Yeah, enough of that. Oh my god, oh my god, who, who, should, who should me? Oh, I think it's turrets. Yeah, my S3 is taking damage. She just survived two shotgun blasts! That's a that's a high-level NPC if I ever saw one. I feel like this is a real Bonnie and Clyde moment. Oh my god, okay, I'm getting pecked out by these damn things. 
Is that Goliath still not dead? Okay, must find somewhere to rest for shields. Okay, apparently I can go inside this door. But not this one. Damn it, why would you have a zero access door? Whatever. Med kits if I need him. Oh my. These ground turrets are not really uh, killable, are they? Oops. Oh god! Uh, I didn't. I thought that was one of you guys. I was like, no! All right, I got killed. I'm almost dead in my SRV. That's pretty serious, though. Like I, I gotta say, like these bases are well defended. That's where that covert approach really, uh, really matters in the end. All right, let's just see what detention facility we end up at. But yeah, I think I'll uh, call the stream there. We've been streaming for, yeah, you know, what is it, about three hours at least, right? Which is, you know, just about, I think, what the... Oh, destroyed by Renee Sanders. Self-defense. I was cowering in the corner. I mean, just because I attacked you people first doesn't mean that, like, you can call that self-defense. Just, like, I don't... I, I am a murderer, I will accept that, but you are also a murderer, I just want that to be for the record. Okay, NPC judges. Anyway, well thank you guys very much for joining on today's Dangus. Uh, we'll leave you there um, from this from this lovely prison room. We'll <laughs> end the stream, end the stream in prison, as per usual. Um, but yeah, tune in uh, next Saturday, uh, I don't know, uh, hit the like button and dislike button subscribe button bell button elevator button uh hit all of the buttons and uh if you want i don't care uh and uh i will see you guys next saturday for a stream and look forward soon to a dangus video because if i get this scene done tomorrow i may have the editing done by the evening and i will probably want to put that out as soon as possible because i'm just super excited about it so stay tuned for that uh but thank you very much for joining guys and have yourself a great day fly dangus Bye-bye. See you later. Good night. And end. Yay.